Okay, is that better? <laughs> is that better? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, yes, perfect. So there. I figured I would do something wrong. And microphone is always my responsibility, so I should have remembered that one. But I always also forget to do it. So, so I'll start from the beginning. Welcome, welcome, our Wisdom Wednesday. Uh, you can see only me here because uh, my counterpart, this amazing cutie Furby by Doodle, there. Uh, I'm missing my counterpart today. Uh, he's gonna Andrew. He's gonna be joining us a little bit later on. He's a bit caught up in works today, and uh, therefore, uh, I'm gonna be starting with you. And hopefully, he's gonna join us later on. Uh, so that's what I was trying to tell you guys while you were reading my lips. <laughs> now, who can read lips? <laughs> um, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, hashtag blue wrench. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. Yesterday, it was so funny that we uh, tweeted out the hashtag blue wrench and uh, you guys were retweeting it and tweeting your own uh, comments on it and tweeting the video out of yesterday's live stream with hashtag blue wrench. Uh, I just thought it was so funny. And then there was few people completely out of the blue that were retweeting it. So maybe it means something in other countries. I don't know, hopefully nothing bad. But it was definitely was very funny. And yesterday was so amazing. I think uh, it was unplanned because it was supposed to be Tech Talk Tuesday. But it was amazing to, to, to end with such amazing group of people yesterday. So many amazing channels, creators, and, and just hanging out and have a good laugh. And uh, just like having a kitchen party that Andrew is always talking about, right? Uh, so that was really cool, uh, and uh, we ended on a good note, and I hope you guys had a good uh, evening or day, depending on which side of the earth you are. Uh, so uh, shout out to you guys who are here today as well. So it's uh, Bottle Caps here, and I was saying at the beginning when you guys were reading my lips that I hope the Bottle Caps don't be too upset that it's only me starting today. Uh, so I, I, I hope you can stick around until Andrew comes back. Uh, Brother Dunn is in. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Hosier, our guest for Friday, is in. Uh, so excited to have you on. Uh, Christy K9, hello and welcome. Miss Kathy, hi. And Jesse, are you together with Jesse or is just you? Now I can't see the chat now, my God. I'm doing quite well. Uh, Ray Driver, hello. Remy Moore, hi. Terrell Emerson, hi. And this natural journey joining us from the other side of the world. Uh, I hope I mentioned, oh, Nathan just popped in too. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. You guys are gonna, I'm not really good at talking with empty room here, although I know there's a lot all of you there so you're gonna have to stick with me because today we have our special guest for those of you who missed the announcement yesterday or haven't seen um, our Twitter today uh, today we have Violet Bird on as a special guest but lucky you guys she only can join us uh, a little less than an hour, around nine-ish o'clock, because uh, she is in a different time zone. She's a little bit closer to ball caps, and she has to put her kitties to bed, um, and then she can join us. So, um, fingers crossed, I can hang out with you guys uh, here till uh, we get our guest on. Uh, yeah, and I just got the message from uh, the guest as well that she's right now cooking dinner. And we look very professional. That's amazing because I don't feel like that at all. But uh, uh, thank you anyway. Now let's go back to the chat. Oh, my goodness. So confusing. So many windows. 
I don't know, guys, those of you who do it alone, I don't know how you guys do that because it's it's quite um it's quite confusing. There you go. So it's um uh we had the I came on later talking Instagram, I think. Sorry, you had an honor of Joe yesterday before I came on later talking Instagram, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, 8, 11 here. Yeah, it's, uh, yes, I was a few minutes late. Well, you know, I come from Europe, from northern, northeast part of Europe, for those of you who don't know, from Latvia. And Europe general um, tend to be late for all their uh, appointments and arrangements. Um, some countries, so like maybe more southern parts of Europe, tend to be an hour late, and it's okay. It's even rude to be on time. Well, uh, we're used to be late for around 15, 20 minutes. It's no big deal. And uh, it wasn't 15 minutes. I was only late for a couple of minutes. So uh, improving there. Um, so, guys, how are you doing? Uh, Stephanie at work, yeah. Uh, hello, Steph. You guys will have to explain her why I'm alone here. Uh, Carol, Carol Crazy Jumper. Hi, hello, and welcome. Um, so how are you guys doing today? Did you have a good weather today? And uh, too many mouse. I have three mouse or mice on the table. I have two laptops and a phone. Way too many things. Uh, so how are you guys doing? Today we had a very nice day. I know Andrew took you guys for a drive through streets of Montreal, which is quite amazing. Uh, Rita Walker, hi. <laughs> and um, it was really nice weather. Um, unfortunately, his stream died uh, quite almost right at the hospital where he was going to pick me up because as lots of you have uh, mentioned that in the chat, uh, his car died. <laughs> so uh, that's how the end of the stream went. Uh, that was quite an interesting uh, day as well. So he was, has been spending the day repairing the car and doing work as well. So I've been quite busy. Oh, Miss Kathy's leaving me. Uh, <laughs> science project, what kind of science project? And uh, Remy Moore, you feel like crap, uh, came to procrastinate. Oh, well, nothing wrong with sometimes procrastinating. Uh, why you don't feel well? I, I hope it's nothing too badly health related. I know how it feels sometimes. It's just uh, don't feel like doing anything or procrastination used to be my second name. I'm getting better at it since I have been with Andrew. I think I have improved in not procrastination but uh, but yeah it's uh, it used to be my tendency especially in university but somehow i hopped through it so sometimes it's okay i think it motivates and focuses on uh, procrastinators more because you know you procrastinate so long that at the end when you do have to like there is no choice but to do whatever you were procrastinated uh you just have to put all your resources in it and just you know, focus just that, like have like horses with blinds uh, on their eyes and not to do and not to see anything else and, and just get it done. And I think the procrastinators are very resourceful, really. So maybe it's not good to be a procrastinator, but I think it develops some pretty good uh, character features as well. Uh, Stephanie, hi, you were so amazing yesterday. Uh, so amazing. Uh, yeah, so kind. I hope you feel well today, or at least a little bit better. Um, and Hosier, you, you quit moving the yarn halfway through just to stop and watch. Addiction, I know. The neighbors hate me, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, um, that's, uh, that's amazing dedication. I love you guys are coming in. That's so cool. Um, oh, you leave the live stream going, Kathy. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, 
Remy, you think you need to eat healthier, just can't get a video right. I have been working on it two weeks and I still do have it the way I, you still don't have it probably the way you would like it. You know, um, I mean, I'm no preacher here. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. But from what I've gathered uh, through my studies um, in uh, university, and I don't know, for those of you who don't know, I, I have a degree in clinical psychology. Um, uh, I would say that sometimes it's good to put things away and step away from them no matter if they're practical things or emotional things, uh, everyday life or a task that you have to do when you feel like you're stuck. I think sometimes it's good to step out. Like they say that you can't see the trees while you're in the forest, right? You gotta step out of the woods to, to, to see them. And I think that applies to a lot of things like that too. When we feel stuck, when there's a writer's block, creator's block, as probably lots of you guys have as well. I feel that's, for me at least, it works the best. And, <coughs> excuse me, evidence in books um, and studies um, also show that uh, sometimes it's a good approach to have. Um, feeling a bit better, Stefan uh, Opel. Well, that's good. That's good. It's, yes, taking care of yourself. Me time is so important. Uh, during my uh, uh, chronic pain journey has been um, has been quite a <coughs> challenge to allow myself uh, some me time, but it's quite necessary in order to to feel better. So I hope uh, you have plenty of that now. Oh, really, Remy? What uh, what do you have? Uh, what have you studied? I'm excited when I get anybody that has, especially in, on internet, when I have somebody with the same uh, kind of field of study, I, I like to discuss a lot uh, about the recent uh, developments in psychology and their perception of life and, and uh, discoveries and results of studies. So um, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, I love that. Um, um black star edm hello hello we are great i'm just waiting for andrew to pop back in uh he's running a bit late at work uh so he's gonna be here anytime so i'm just talking with you while i'm waiting for him and for our guest violet bird that's gonna be joining us uh, around nine ish eastern so just uh, a little more than a half an hour from now um, you started your master's in psychiatric rehabilitation, but you didn't finish. Wow, that's quite serious, psychiatric rehabilitation. Wow, may I ask you, uh, why did you choose this particular field? That's quite interesting. Uh, a bachelor's in psychology and sociology. Cool. Well, that would be great to have you on, maybe. Maybe we could uh, find... Uh, couple of people with similar uh, fields of study and, and have like a little panel of discussion. As I say, I, I'm no, uh, I'm not preaching one thing. I, I only share the knowledge, um, you know, uh, of, of studies and, and, and a personal experience, but uh, mostly the way of understanding how human behavior perception and brain works. Uh, but that would be amazing that just to interchange ideas, just talk about different uh, subjects that affects uh, people's daily life. Like for example, creator's block um, that I mentioned earlier. Um, hi, Brock next. How is the weather up there? Hopefully it's nice. It's been really nice day today here. And actually this week they promised plus 28 Celsius, which I don't know if somebody maybe can tell me what is it in Fahrenheit. Um, oh, Blackstar, congratulations. You noticed that your video finally got over 100 views. That's cool. That's great. That's great. It's going to start rolling. It, it does. The more it rolls, it's like a snowball. It just accumulates. Um, have you guys been... Uh, so is Andrew a case that you can't figure out? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, it's as <laughs> uh, I kind of, I think I have learned to separate my uh, psychological um, 
knowledge of psychology, so to say, professional knowledge of psychology and my personal life. Although it is hard sometimes, but I, uh, I can't uh, perceive people around me as cases. That would be, I think oftentimes it's the same as with uh, shoemaker and shoes. Um, or a brain surgeon doing the surgery on their own brain. It's quite impossible. So, um, but, <clears throat> uh, you know, come say good night. Um, just a second, I'll be right back. No, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> somebody sometimes don't like brushing their teeth. <laughs> uh, I think we all have uh, have gone through that when we were kids. Um, okay, is this Jordan Peterson? So, uh, no, <laughs> I I couldn't possibly compare myself to Jordan Peterson. Um, what are, what are you guys' thoughts on Jordan Peterson? I, it's quite a polarizing um, figure, I must say. And uh, I wonder, what are you guys' uh, ideas about that? Um, uh, rather than using my knowledge of psychology as a way of diagnosing people, I like to use my knowledge to think about things from different angles and analyze things. Yes, exactly, exactly. Well, definitely, I, I definitely try to use uh, my knowledge in, in my life, in my perception of things, but once again, you know, nobody's perfect. Uh, I miss that black star. Oh yeah, we talked about that the psychology is your field too. Well, there you go. We'll have two people already for our future panel. Um, okay. Uh, Somebody needs her mommy. Yes, yeah, yeah. She didn't want to brush her teeth, but hopefully it's going to be fine. Uh, Christopher Spence, hello. Um, he's probably the most intelligent uh, clinical psychologist we've ever seen. Yeah, I think uh, I agree. And I think uh, he's very, he's very smart. Um, the way his mind remembers everything, like everything, is quite admirable. Um, no matter if somebody likes or dislikes his opinions uh, about um, society nowadays, I think just the way he can, um, he can remember everything and quote things and uh, uh, change subjects uh, like that and go in deep depth of, of of it like you have to have a certain depth of knowledge in order to talk the way he is talking about uh, about different subjects and uh, it's not it's not often when when people can do that and I think he's really he's really smart I, I also think that he is burning out right now because of everything that's lately been going on with him and all the um, media and attention and uh, unfortunately these people burn out uh, fast a lot of times uh, but I, I, I yeah <laughs> I, it's, it's hard to talk about him because he's so polarizing and then I think either people love him or hate him and did you come to say good night did you brush your teeth okay say good night to people are you gonna show people your brush teeth Okay. Oh, yeah, come here, say yes, I'm gonna come. Of course, you're gonna say bye to people. No. Okay. <laughs> no buys today. 
Uh, you spent 30 years of trying people in a straight jacket, so I think my opinion carries weight. Oh, of course, of course. And that's why I said I, I, I do agree that he's very intelligent uh, psychologist. I just really, I think it's it's more to that. I think he's intelligent as a human being. His uh, capacity of his brain, I think, be, is beyond the average um, human being. So that's what I would what's that's where i was getting with it um yeah the little one is not in a good mood <laughs> um remy i love studies and creativity i went to school for psychiatric rehabilitation because i thought i would enjoy counseling and talking it wasn't what i pictured it helped me be a better writer Yes, definitely. It it uh, opens up. It's a very it's a very interesting point, and it opens up uh, um, the door or passage to people's minds, the way people work, for sure. But psychiatric rehabilitation that sounds more on the clinical um, side of it, like uh, uh, treating diagnos diagnosis more is that's what you were looking for i mean talking and uh, counseling and talking um it, it can range anywhere from a counselor as a psychologist to psycho psychotherapist to psychiatrist depending what kind of clients you have uh, psychiatry is quite uh, seriously in depth and uh, um sometimes quite sad i think in my opinion, uh, profession or, or sad things to deal with. So it's quite heavy. Uh, yeah, she's not shy usually. She just, uh, she loves uh, cuddles. She loves attention. She's my little actress pumpkin. Uh, yes, yeah, I know. I sometimes wonder uh, what is going to be like in 10, 15 years, uh, what, what kind of technology they're going to have. Um, you know, they're not going to have live streams. They're going to have something else, something built in or, I don't know, uh, telepathy or something in the lines of that. But I often wonder how it's going to be for them when they are our age. Um, and we often talk about that with my son, too, for example. He's all into science. Um, it's a more clinical form of counseling, but it's still counseling. A rehab counseling is more getting a person to the highest level of functioning after to be okay okay well th thank you for clarifying that yes no definitely it's still counseling uh but yeah uh it's more dealing with real okay interesting that's really cool would you did you ever thought of finishing it or have you decided that it's not for you and and that's why you're not pursuing it um for those of you who just jumped in, I'm just reminding where that we are going to be having Violet Bird in in uh, in a little bit of time. Uh, she's just uh, putting her kitties to bed, and I'm waiting for Andrew, who is a little bit late working. Uh, so, <laughs> therefore, it's only me <laughs> for a little bit. You have to hang on, and and uh, uh, I enjoy your guys' presence. Um, I'm not too good usually at talking uh, unless I'm talking with somebody like Andrew always thinks that I can't shut up and I have to use my white flags. This time I can just talk, right? Um, hi, t -Throg. and That's the correct spelling of my name. So thank you. That's exactly that. Uh, ATGH, holographic display is the future of video. Yes. Well, I mean, Andrew would have stopped me if he wouldn't be here, but I must tell you this, that ever since I saw the Fifth Element movie with Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, I think it's my celebrity crush. Um, ever since I watched that movie, I always knew that there are going to be holographic TVs. Like, I was waiting for it, that holograms, TVs, you know, that's going to be the the reality and guess what i think last year they were coming out with the first mini holograms that you can watch uh from your phone and uh now linus eclipse was showing in the last uh, uh tech uh, conference uh about the laser beams that are um 
the way they're projected, it creates holograms, and you can actually watch video motion uh, pictures on them. Uh, so it's all getting there. So imagine 15 years ago or so, or I think even more now, uh, since the movie was released, and um, then it was such a fantasy, right? Science fiction. Uh, but now it's coming to life. And I bet I can promise you that once that TV is available to masses, I'm going to have it. I'm not usually the gadget buff. I don't need the latest things. But just, just the idea of having something so science fictional and actually having that in your real life, it just feels so mind-blowing. And I'm, yes, I agree. I, I agree that's what's going to happen. And I will have it in my living room. That's going to be so cool. Uh, watch the original Blade Runner with Harrison Ford. Hmm, interesting. Um, I wouldn't like, it's okay. Harrison Ford is okay. I wouldn't uh, say like that I favored him. Uh, you know, I have seen lots of his movies, but uh, I think Bruce Willis is my crush for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you, Ray, by the way. Yes. Uh, as I said, I think I was training for Saturday. Saturday, I, I will, though, have to uh, guests uh, to talk with. Uh, but at least the setting up and everything. Uh, um, love the fifth element. Yeah, I know. Oh, and also Bruce Willis was amazing in Moonlight with Sybil Shepard. That was really cool, too. I don't know. It's just something about him. And yes, I usually like beards. He doesn't have beard there, but there's just something about him. I don't know what. Um, Google is working on a smartwatch that can project an image on your wrist. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's coming. It's coming. I think we're going to need so much less of these gadgets with uh, augmented reality, uh, with virtual reality. Uh, with holograms, I think we'll need very little um, objects around us. We're going to be able to reproduce them in virtual or augmented reality. Uh, and we won't need to purchase so many things. I think eventually, I do believe that everything in life and on Earth and universe and personal lives goes in, in, in a circle, so to say. And... Um, I think as much as we have uh, turned into consumerism society, buying things, polluting the earth with all of the stuff that we have, like the garbage of packaging of all the things that we buy and uh, just too many things around us, I think it, it eventually is now on a slide back to having a minimal um, things in our environment to have more minimalistic style not because we wouldn't want them but because there are going to be different means of acquiring them that is not going to require a tangible uh way of having them that's just my <laughs> surreal thoughts <laughs> uh, demolition man is the ultimate future predictor yes movies are such a great future predictor i mean you know the epic star wars uh, everything starting from cell phones, you know, uh, there's lots of things that have appeared there and people have been inspired from the movies uh, and have uh, made things afterwards or invented things afterwards because they have seen those, you guys. Um, and usually I'm not too big of a science fiction fan, um, maybe just a little bit in a way of thinking of how our life is going to be in 50 years time. But, uh, but yeah, there are some movies that I do enjoy like that. Well, honey, pop, oh, ball caps. Thank you. I just have so many gadgets here talking about overload of gadgets that I wasn't able to look at your beautiful flowers. So, but I will definitely look at them. Your wife's celeb crush is Johnny Depp. Yeah, I can see why. I can see why. But I, I like a little bit of that rugged roughness there. Maybe that's why the, you know, the lumberjack look that I like. Um, if if it's too pretty, it's too pretty. It's too sweet. It's You know, when sometimes when you have too many candies or like 
lemonade or that is very sweet and it's so sweet that you just can't take it anymore well i don't i don't like that in men either just way too much oh you're hello <laughs> with my nice clean hands uh. ball caps is gonna be happy <laughs> Not giving a hard time, is he? No, he's very nice and he sent me flowers, but I'm so confused with all the uh, gadgets as we were talking here uh, that I haven't looked at them yet. <laughs> I forgot to check to see if the thing is shut off. Yeah, he's back from fixing the minivan too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, minivan. <laughs> yes, you predicted in the chat, ball caps, that it's gonna, it's gonna it burn off. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how are you? I'm gonna go just clean up and then I'll come join you. Okay. Yeah. We don't need that TV. Uh, it's connected. Uh, yeah, no, because there was something running on the other end. I was gonna make sure it wasn't hampering. Oh, okay. That's why, and your mouse is not working? No, it is working. Nothing like a man coming in and thinking that men, women can't handle something and just trying to take over right away. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Still didn't hear what you said, but I'm good. <laughs> Was it the head gasket? No, it was a serpent belt. Serpent belt. They had to change serpent belt. Um, my grandmother's mother watched Flash Gordon, the original, and said, look at that silly man talking to piece of glass and it respond. That will never happen. Then her great granddaughter used Skype. Yes. Well, that's the amazing part of it. That's the amazing part of the science fiction in a futuristic way. That is so crazy. Just, just the notion of it is just sometimes overwhelming. Um, there was a no sound in incident. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cherry 3000. Oh, I have to look at that. I haven't heard that. Cherry 3000. Who is in it? And the drugged up version of Johnny Depp. No, no, no. Still too sweet. I don't know. I, I Just something. Too, and I am a sweet tooth, okay? So when I say the sweet is too sweet, well, the, it is too sweet. <laughs> um... Andrew caught us, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we were talking about celeb crush. So, what is your guy? What is your guys' uh, celeb crushes? Thank you, Hosier. Yeah, I. Um, hmm. Yeah, the uh, crap. Crack the nut open. What what is your celeb crush for uh, for uh, uh, celebrity women? I always like movies with uh, Nicole Kidman. Something about that uh, Australian accent and red hair always intrigued me. Brittany Murphy, but that she was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weren't you? Uh, somebody was saying that, uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> is, oh my God, yes, it's the ship has sailed. But, uh, you know, in if you believe in reincarnation, then who knows? So, Brittany Murphy, okay, who else? Who else? Maybe somebody also likes uh, Nicole Kidman. Robert Downey. Okay. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Who else? Have you ever guys made a pact, you know, like I in the movies? And no, we have never made that. And I wouldn't want to, but uh, in the movies, they oftentimes do this, that, you know, like if there would be ever, ever a chance, like between a couple, ever, ever a chance that uh, you meet your you know celebrity crash then it would be okay to you know to do something <laughs> uh have you ever done uh, that pact with your wife or husband just curious don't have to answer 
uh, with my luck, a reincarnated Brittany would come back looking like Rosie. <laughs> Yes, yes, Scarlett jo oh, Johansson, yeah, yeah, she a little bit uh, reminds me of Marilyn Monroe in her earlier days, um, uh, yes, yeah, I can see that, uh, you like him from Sherlock Holmes, yes, yes, that was, that was a good one, definitely, definitely, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I'm not thinking what would be from the newer uh, generation of celebrities um, because I mean Bruce Phyllis is not the youngest fellow out there, right? Um, what would be the newest one, newer ones? And I don't know really. I don't know. I don't know any suggestions. I haven't really found anything. Scar. Oh, okay, you like Scarlet too. Yeah, he does sometimes, Bottle Cap. <laughs> now, that reminds me, I, I was so busy with you guys that I never even retweeted this. So anybody sitting there, if you can find the share button, because I can't with all the windows I have opened here, and share it out, I would appreciate Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Bottle, <laughs> ball caps. What was your celebrity crush? Did I miss it? Russell Crowe. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. What is it with women? Was liking sweet and pretty. But <laughs> different tastes, I guess. Your daughter loves Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch, I'm gonna look for it. Who is that? Okay. Okay, yeah, now I know what you're talking about, Avengers. Well, yeah, that's a new generation. Uh, that's the new generation. I'm still stuck in oldies. Are you coming back, Andrew? Uh, sure. <laughs> We're doing just fine, but if you want to come okay. back. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Uh, Chris Hemworth. Okay, I can see that too. The bottle caps, are you are you crack cracking? Are you gonna reveal your celebrity crush? We're talking celebrity crush. I hear that. What is your celebrity crush? Bottle caps. <laughs> <coughs> Chris Hemworth, uh, Timia the animatronic girl. Hi. Mm. New segment of Push of the Dating yeah, Game. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how we went to celebrity crashes. We started talking about futuristic uh, uh, inventions and gadgets and how is the future going to be in 50 years. And and then we ended up with Fifth Element, of course, and projector uh, hologram <laughs> TVs that I was talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard this episode before. <laughs> uh, Chris is now on Three's company. Really? <laughs> Carl, yeah. Oh, really? Your psychology instructor was like <laughs> Carl Jung. Oh, wow. Well, it, um, I do believe that there is some kind of um, remanifestation of the essence of us into something else not necessarily humans but uh might be two humans as well um marcia on the brady bunch there's a really all days there <laughs> oh, you got your own show thanks thanks for having to pay Taurus. um appreciate the support <laughs> no this is our both show and i'm gonna be on my uh -oh. well not on my own i'm gonna have two other beautiful ladies with me saturday yeah uh yeah <laughs> it's gonna be cool though yeah a little more educative but uh, than enter well maybe entertaining too in a way but uh more educational as well so uh for those of you who, who don't know just came in i'm gonna have a raise awareness campaign live stream on saturday for hashtag billions missing about chronic and invisible illnesses and chronic pain with two amazing guests 
But that's Saturday at eight. So Vita the floor is like, yours. I'm just listening. Mm -hmm. You're just listening. Yep. Yeah. I'm just well, taking it all in. We can't talk about all of that with uh, you here, you know. Exactly. It kind of feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> See, See you're not the phone. Yes, I that's me, of course. Lucille Ball. Well, there's a lot of them I see. See, you didn't talk about any, and now you there's Lucille Ball. Uh, Bottle caps, I should have known. Yes, of course. Going by. Marsha. Oh, from the Brady Bunch. Yeah, he That's was his theory. mentor, like in real life. Wow. Oh, and yes, we're talking about everything at once, psychology and education. Full topics? Yes, yeah, we're covering everything. Good stuff. So. You guys got a full plate going. <laughs> Apparently, I've done a very good job here. So. She has, I'm sure. I have no worries at all. I'm very grateful that you did it tonight because she they couldn't hear me at the beginning though <laughs> Mike wasn't turned on <laughs> and i didn't see the the chat because right. i couldn't put it on right away oh that's i was so worried about putting the intro music on that i forgot <laughs> to put the mic on <laughs> but they were very supportive and very understanding so yeah yeah women i i do that. appreciate that they'll say oh that's cute and a guy does it what a <laughs> what a useless piece of, you know what <laughs> no 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 it it was weird because there's so much of it and that's what i'm saying i'm, so you like the way she did it, I'm training for saturday <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh no worries about that don't you feel, uh, feel sl oh, my god do i got the plague <laughs> well now you know how it feels when bottle caps tell you that he rather prefers when you are alone <laughs> that doesn't sound good at any level, but okay. Well, that's what he said a couple streams ago that he prefers morning streams because <laughs> Henry's alone. Because <laughs> I don't give him the stink eye as much as you do. Yeah, well, he also was referring to that when I had it all on silent. <laughs> we still could feel the stink eye even through the silence. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. what? How was your day, Andrew? Oh, it was lovely. That's how we started this stream today. Okay. So yeah. Can you share your experience today? Yeah, no, when uh, some of you guys were with me on my drive through Montreal and I was almost at the hospital to get Xenia and I stopped at the light when I went to take off. I'm like, oh, that's not good. No power steering. And then I realized right away, I didn't quite, I didn't know the belt went yet. But then uh, when I turned, because we're, as you see, we were going up a hill, well, it was a turn, then another hill. And I'm like, yeah, I got to end this right now. <laughs> Something's not right at all. So I got up and yeah, I pretty much had put together by then what was going on. So yeah, that was lovely. Always fun. Always fun. Uh, the last yeah. thing, I, yeah, yeah. I, I watched that stream afterwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it wasn't at the time. The truck wasn't overheating. It wasn't that. That what was overheating was because the I put on the air conditioning because the belt uh, the phone was heating. It wasn't the car. And uh, that's why the, the phone was starting to pause and was running through an inverter because I was running, I was keeping it charged. And um, yeah, so then I put on the air conditioning and it's possible, but the pulley, the, the bearings all seem good, but the there's a bearing needed on the uh, tension arm. So, and looking like that was the problem. It was just probably bad timing. Yes, camera time. I hate car trouble too. Especially when you're in downtown Montreal up on the hill to get your wife. And it couldn't be one of the first hot days. And I turned around, I came back, and we literally made it not even a half a kilometer from the house. And I lost all power. Then I lost my gauges. Yeah, because the yeah. wife decided to push a button. I was going to kill her. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. The car was out of battery. And we were about to cross the light. So I was concerned that somebody wouldn't know that you are, you mm -hmm. know, have a faulty car but instead of moment. saying should i put on the four ways she decides to just click them on and i just put the four ways on and of course they yeah. got stuck and you know that there when the battery is almost dead there the tick, 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 tick. <laughs> that didn't help and that didn't make things much more of a fun no ride. but we still made it home because so. i was losing i lost all power and that part i had started the the fuel pump was kicking out so <laughs> i literally literally made it in front of the house thank god i didn't have to parallel park or anything i would have been screwed uh, I'm a low budget mechanic that overcharges. Yeah, oh, you love car <laughs> yeah, trouble. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, oh, somebody was left. Oh, Natural Journey, I think. Uh, just had to leave. <laughs> oh, um, take care. Over the guardrail and through the ditch in grandmother's car we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Riverbank. Like oh, yes. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> yeah, but we made it home, so, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> It was fun. It, it was a lot of fun. I don't recommend it. <laughs> but it was yeah, but Balkas uh, predicted it almost. He was, I don't know if you read the chat after, probably not. Uh, he was saying that uh, uh, something wrong with the minivan going rough, the, the tires are going to fall off. And, <sighs> and then no, not long after. Oh, there you go. It happened. Mm. By the way, speaking about ball caps, I opened up if you want to share the beautiful lilacs he sent to me. Oh, my God. Does he have his knitting too? Uh, I think Bolo Caps is an old woman that's trying to hide it. There's some, I don't know. I think there's more going on than he likes to pretend. Yeah, he's in this beautiful. Yeah. You see how tender he is? He tries to act all tough in here. And look at his supper. There you go. What's that? Pork chops? <laughs> <laughs> I did like the. the um, I did like the lilacs. We yeah. we don't have anything like that here. Oh, well, there is a lot. Not yet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not like we've never had one in Montreal or something. Yeah, we have palm trees here. That's right. And and ice. Yeah, so you make pork schnitzel. Yeah, nice. Mm. Reminds me planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's such a good movie. <laughs> Fast and Fury Cross. I know it wasn't like me, but <laughs> Grey Driver gets the, the winning ticket. Great <laughs> ATGH, I can see that you're supporting Andrew. Great hodgepodge of random thoughts <laughs> and mumblings. <laughs> yeah, that's what I am. Mm -hmm. Lots of subjects all at once. But I was doing good. Yeah, see? No. Now people are starting to drop out. I scared them off. Yeah. It, it was it's all my fault. Holy God, I wish there was some windows open. I know you didn't open all of them, by the way. Yeah, it actually them. closed a lot of them, too. Yeah, no. Uh, so uh, let me see what is our guest up to. Let's see here. How was you guys' day today? I think Zinni probably asked already, but I'm yeah. just asking once again. I'm just looking around here for a second. Second, second, second. <clears throat> we'll have oh, Valid Bird is in our right. chat right, right now. Oh, you're there. Yes, we have a guest, but the guest is uh, is a bit closer to bottle caps in a different time zone, and it was little kitties, so uh, we decided uh, to life first, as we always say. Uh, so um, Violet uh, was putting her kids to bed tonight and uh, was going to join us a bit later, but then it happened that uh, Andrew had to deal with life too, so yep. that's why it was only me tonight at the beginning of the show, if you missed that part <laughs> that exciting part of only me talking with you guys yeah so obviously you had to feed your kids that's right and audrey had troubles too so we had to deal with that all together <laughs> you see you got on i lost six subscribers i went from 14 55 to 14 49 so there you go well i'm sure once we go to social blade it will have nothing to do with my timing it will have to do with yours so <laughs> And we can track it in real time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that sucks. So you see, guys, everybody gets that stuff. Got to go play catch with my boy. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming in, River Ben Longbows Outdoors. See, I'm even getting better at seeing your name faster. Like yeah, an advertisement, advertisement, advertisement. River Ben Longbows Outdoors. Violet, are you in? Okotoks, Alberta. 
And Corey Ellis Effect was with us this morning. I remember seeing him. You can't look at the screen much when you're driving, but I did see him there as well. Well, people were concerned that you're paying too much attention to the live stream and not driving. I was literally driving. <laughs> like, I just looked once or twice at a light. I had you guys turned. That's why I kept saying, I hope there's somebody here because I couldn't see. And so I don't know how much more I could have made it say. I was just talking to the wind. I just kept thinking the whole time, and I even started thinking once or twice, what if I'm just here the whole time talking to myself? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, Arvin. <laughs> and then there was just uh, me. And so she's... That's how I roll. Hello, hello. Hope your day is better today. Yes. Good to have you with us. How you feel? How are things going today? Hopefully every day is getting a little bit better. That's um, right. Yeah, Opal was in too. For a moment, Kathy is running the stream, but uh, she's with Jesse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. mm. Eric is back in world. Hi oh. and welcome. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, so, Violet, are you ready to join us? Live and in flesh. Yeah, she's got that really cool. Yeah, yesterday, I remember her uh, thumbnail. It's really cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I will definitely have to check it out. You see, we, uh, we both uh, check out different channels, and then we suggest the content to each other. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely, we'll have to check that out. So Violet thinks she's ready to go? Uh, well, I hope so. OK. Well, I'll send you it over in Twitter right away. Well, that's nice to hear. That's how I roll. That's great. It's great to hear. Every day, feeling a little bit better. You're working on the zoo stuff. Well, you can work on the zoo stuff at the same time. Um, maybe we can help you <laughs> with suggestions. Mm. I'm sure Ball Caps has some ideas how to enhance some of the animals. <laughs> uh, Mickey D, hello. I didn't intend anything mm. nasty, by the way. It's all, you're only as oh. nasty as your thoughts are. So There you go, Violet. I just sent you the link. So. Just have to click and we'll get going. You're going back to making your film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much for dropping by. Yep. Uh, tweet at us when your next live is on. We have our guests in the house. This is so weird. Hey, hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Nice to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. I might actually have to um, close the chat because I hear everything twice. Yeah, you can just pause the uh, video and you'll still okay. see the chat rolling. Yeah. Cool. This is yep. um, the first time I've been invited onto a live stream. So, wow. ah. <laughs> pleasure's all ours. <laughs> yeah. And uh, sorry, we had to pull you away from uh, the kids. <laughs> I oh, know no, it's hard to the little one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the six-year-old's pretty independent, but the three-year-old and the nineteen-month-old are a lot of work. They, uh, they, it's really funny because they make the same mess every day. Okay. I don't know. It's like they empty the same drawers, the same like twenty things. They move around. It's weird. I don't know. Are your kid? Is your family like that too? The same mess, or are they? Oh famous? yes, my God, yes. The same yeah. round in the morning. Mm -hmm. The same round in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put your shoes away. Put your coat. Anyways, it's, it is kind of monotonous, but it's okay. So, yeah, what are you guys doing today? How's it going? Good, good. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's I, been quite uh, eventful for us here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I went to pick up Xenia. We were, t I was live streaming actually. So I went to pick her up, and my truck blew the main belt in the car. So oh. we had to go home with nothing running on the alternator and no <laughs> water pump, no nothing. So that's I awful. Moved it home and <laughs> by turning on the four ways when I had no power. Well, I'm always <laughs> so helpful, so dedicated. Oh, guys. <laughs> and I don't know anything about cars, so it definitely wouldn't help. But the heart yeah. was in the right place. I'm so sorry. Car trouble is the worst. It happens. Yes, but it's it okay. Happens. Tomorrow is another day. Uh, for those of uh, people in the chat who don't know about your channel and about you, uh, could you just tell in a couple words what what is your channel about and then we're going to proceed more about you yourself absolutely so um it's it's funny you ask i my mom is always telling me when she looks at my channel she's like pilot you're doing too many things you need to focus on one thing and that's actually kind of my challenge right now um i i'm really trying to focus on music more acapella stuff the difficulty is 
so far the stuff I've put up has just been what I can remember in multiple parts. I actually need access to the music before I can do more because I'm just making up the bass right now and that's not a good thing. Um, so, sorry, I, I'm dovetailing here. I'm a, a channel like that's gonna be doing music and I'm really excited to use my little drone. Hey, where is he? Is he hanging out here somewhere? But anyways, yeah, I've got I've got a little drone, and my in-laws are farmers, so I'm able to get really really cool footage. Um, I'm just learning uh, videography editing. It's really just trying to build that up. Um, I'm really experimenting with different things right now. So it's like a music focused kind of mom vlog. Like you'll see every week I'll put up stuff with my kids. I'll put up some music and I'll probably put up a little bit of drone footage. So it's it's a bit of a mishmash, but I hope you guys are having fun seeing what comes up. It's I'm working for consistency, but what I found with April with the video every day, April, it was just, I'm going to try a lot of different things. And, um, yeah, the stuff I did at the Calgary Zoo is performing better than everything else. Um, I have one video that's done really well for me, and it's actually reviewing strollers, so it's just okay. <laughs> it seems to be like the mommy vlogging is working. The music is working too, but yeah. yeah well, you have amazing voice, so uh, I mean, I'm mean, i not surprised that uh, your music stuff uh, is working. Well, I mean, and that's the thing with this... Um, this forum right like you actually get very honest feedback right like if people don't watch it it's not good so or like i mean if you can compare one video to another so it's like okay what what are people clicking and watching what do they like and i want to serve the audience but also do things that i like to do but i'm just still working on finding out what my voice is i mean you guys have a very professional kind of defined style to what you're doing very professional um Oh God. Live streams and I just I really really admire what you guys do on your channel and I'm like yeah I I've <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. You're too kind. Uh, yeah, yeah. We thank we didn't really thank you, but yeah, we didn't really start uh, as a purpose of being a YouTube channel. It was more like a side thing for our business, which it still is. But then it turned into live streams completely unexpectedly. Uh, so we just rolled with it. Um, we're definitely not professionals in it. <clears throat> That's not what we do. <laughs> or we are Editing doing it now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, but thank you. Though. <laughs> I find it hard uh, with my Instagram, for example, when I was listening to you uh, about uh, trying to define more focused area. I find it hard with my Instagram because uh, I want to, I know that it has to be more cohesive uh, and I want to post more of, uh, you know, portraits and, and events that we are doing because that's what uh, our main focus is. But then uh, lots of the clients, for example, don't want to uh, post uh, their, their pictures. So I don't have as many releases and I can't post them every day as it would be required. I do have a lot of nature pictures. We have a lot of uh, traveling, you know, photos. And then I'm kind of weary of mixing that together because then I wonder, well, if I'm going to put a lot of that, will it hide our main goal of the business then, you know? So I struggle with that consistency question a lot within Instagram, and I really don't know, like, how to how to make it cohesive there. So It's if sort I of challenging because what exactly, <laughs> what are you trying to do? It's It's like, when you're making content, it's very much challenging your identity. It's like, what what do you want to show the world, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. That's that's what I'm finding is it's it's like okay, it's just, <laughs> my my um my family they are very supportive, right? And um, they're very funny. It's like okay, so what you need to do is get your husband to talk about Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks, guys. <laughs> That would probably raise some uh, views, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Part of it in the title. <laughs> yeah, this is like, listen to my husband talk about Bitcoin. It was so funny, though, on my live stream last week, about halfway through, I was doing trivia and I was getting tired. So I had my husband come in and ask some questions. <laughs> and my legs went up. <laughs> and my viewers went up. And I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> Maybe he needs a channel. He has to be a more frequent guest then. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I told him if I... Uh, if I start panicking and saying silly things, I'll just call him. Phil, help. Come talk about Bitcoin. 
Uh, I, I uh, actually really, uh, when I found you, I really enjoyed your humor and boxing things. And, uh, <laughs> and I just thought, like first when I was watching you, uh, I thought it was more like a with a comedy twist to it because your jokes and the quirky way of talking about things was so entertaining. Well, thank you. It, it's funny because I, I, I do work. It, my, my instinct is to always do that too. I'm working on the zoo video today, and I'm like, I'll just pretend I'm applying to be a jungle cruise skipper. So I'm googling like the lamest jokes, zoo jokes I can find. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. It's uh, it's challenging, but it, it's good. It, it's it's really a lot of fun. I um I, I I don't know if you can tell from my channel, but it's just the stuff I put up is fun, and I resist the temptation to go back and fix everything a million times because sometimes, you know, it's just like, okay, this is okay. I want to see what happens with it. I, if you, um, what, what did my husband, he keeps telling me this over and over and over again. It's like, oh, Jordan Peterson says that, uh, perfection is the enemy of the good. So if it's good, that's fine. Like, cause if you want to do something, you have to do it. If you allow the idea of it being perfect to stop you from doing it, then you're in worse shape. So, Mm -hmm. Try and take that advice. I don't know. That's so. a good advice. I I, yeah. I agree because well, I think uh, in a, in a run behind the numbers, we oftentimes get caught up into the algorithms and how to do everything, and um, and oftentimes it consumes so much of our time that there is almost no time left into creating things or doing what. Creating. I know. Oh, it's it's ridiculous. I I constantly am like, okay, so. I can chase community building right now, or I can actually make something. Because I've got like half an hour. What am I going to do? Am I going to watch yeah. videos and comment? Or am I going to try and put something together? And it's like, it's almost like there's three different parts, right? There's the content creating, there's the live streams, and then there's the community building. And they're all three very different things that you have to do. And it's just, it's a very difficult balancing act. but. I don't know. I, I think it's it's going out okay. I I, oh, I wish I was putting out. The channel is doing video. pretty good, I think. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I'm really looking for people in different communities, right? Um, like I've I've got a real interest in drones, so I have visited that community, and I worked for Disney for five years, so I chased the Disney community. Um, and. I mean, even fishing, right? I have interested fishing, so I'm like, oh, what do the fishermen do on YouTube? So you find you're kind of building all over the place, but it's difficult because you can't produce something that is gonna appeal to everyone either. So just because I find something interesting on someone else's channel doesn't mean that they really want to hear me singing in Ukrainian in four-part harmony. It's just, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to actually match things but i mean i it, it i i think it's just being persistent and I, I hate to say it but you just throw throw a lot of stuff at the wall and see what sticks right yeah so. i think i truly believe that uh we attract the same type of content that we like to produce like if we stick to the mm -hmm. things that we enjoy ourselves and we uh attract people with the same kind of interest and uh, same same kind of ideas or values and like the same as with businesses like you often time you attract the clients that are have the same way of thinking as you right so i think i think with the youtube is kind of similar absolutely absolutely i'm not even looking at the chat sorry guys uh yeah. yes andrew no i'm just I, 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 hey bottle caps everyone's here oh my goodness I think you drink that's awesome <laughs> not playing pictionary i don't think uh, well, who knows? If we have time, maybe we'll we'll uh, yeah. we'll uh, put some in there. Well, since you were talking about uh, Disney um, and your husband, uh, yeah. why don't we Andrew's favorite question? Why don't we go back as far as you are comfortable with uh, and yeah. talk a little bit about yourself? What's your background? Where you come from? Uh, but you know, as far as you want want to go, it's up to you. In, in very generous for you guys to ask that question. I mean, it could be a long night. <laughs> oh, that's okay. And we're here. Yep, we're all yours. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, so I grew up in Sycamus, British Columbia. Um, I was actually born in Vancouver, but my parents moved 
to Sycamuse to be closer to their family. Um, it's a very, very small place. Um, population is under 2,000 during the winter. And in the summer, it like quadruples because everyone goes there to go houseboating in the summer. So it was just, it was a very weird place to um, grow up. There's um, a lot of good things about it, but you do kind of really like the idea of getting out of the small town and going to school. Um, I did go to UBC in Kelowna and was pursuing actually um, a music degree. I really wanted to uh, go into music and get to UVic, but I started with the idea that I would transfer in second year. It was just too competitive though. I have my grade 10 piano and I was hoping to maybe get like my grade six voice, but for me to get to the lessons and take the exams, to get the voice accreditation to go along with the piano, it was just very, very, very difficult. So I went with um, English, which was something else I very much love. And I actually, at the end, was gonna try and get a minor in medieval and Renaissance studies because that's just where my interest lies. But again, no. I fell in love. <laughs> so I, I fell in love with someone I met on Facebook. Oh. So my husband, um, he is the nephew of my grade 10 theater teacher. Oh, so did you know that at the time? She on Facebook sent me a message one day. So I was um, 19 years old and doing my thing at university and I get a message from my high school teacher. I haven't talked to her in like three, four years. No problem, right? And she says, <laughs> Violet, you know, I've been reading your uh, blog. This is a very, very sad poetry, right? You know, 19 year old university student. What else am I gonna do? She says, mm -hmm. I've, I've been reading your blog and you really, really remind me of my nephew. Can I?" Uh, get you guys connected and I'm like he's 24 I mean I'm only 19 okay that's a little creepy but sure and <laughs> <laughs> okay whatever no big deal I read each other's blogs and then we became Facebook pen pals and we're writing to each other like novellas every day I mean we're in between class and we're on our laptops and we're writing to each other about how we feel about the world and uh, literature, right? We're really, really geeking out on the literature and he decides he needs to meet me, okay? So what he does is he gets my mailing address. Okay, so I gave him my parents' mailing address, but he didn't make that connection. So my parents got this really beautiful calligraphy wax sealed letter in the mail. Oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very romantic. So this is, this is, I get this call from my dad. It's like, so Violet, got this really interesting uh, letter in the mail. Okay. So I get the letter and I open it and I'm like, oh shoot, <laughs> I should probably call him because it was, you know, he was being very wonderful and sweet and genuine and just said at the bottom, uh, if you if you would reply, please call me at this number. And I called him and he was totally shocked, right? Because <laughs> he thought that I'd gotten the letter and was like, no, but it had gone to my parents' house and I it got it a week later. So he's just like waiting for me to open it. Anyways, so he drove out, um, I met him and I was like, the first thing I felt when I saw him was oh no this guy's last name is bird and i'm gonna marry him and then my name is gonna be violet bird so i mean I, I i like that story it was just it was it was a wonderful um way to meet someone especially because you know Everything is so scary and challenging, you know, to actually meet someone and get to know their personality and then you see them and you're actually attracted to them and think it's all good. It was, it was wonderful. But yeah, that was that was first thing I thought. And then I ended up moving to Calgary and um, we got married within the year. I was 20 and then we had our first daughter uh, following year. Now, all this time, um, I was about six courses away from getting my degree, so I finished those off in Calgary by correspondence. I had been um, doing six courses a semester so I could get through as quickly as possible because 
it's very expensive to be in university and I was working two jobs throughout. It was just, it was kind of unpleasant. So finished that off. Um, wor while working at Tim Hortons, I um, became pregnant. I had my daughter and then after she was born, I nannied and I went back to Tim. Well, no, I did not go back to Tim Hortons after I had her. I nannied um, another family with my daughter. I taught piano and I did the graveyard shift at Lululemon opening boxes. So that oh. was a very busy year, but my husband and I both had English degrees and um, I figured one of us needed something else. So we had him go into the teaching after degree program. So that's how we did that and we got that. But uh, yeah, it, it was just being in Calgary, I've just been working and working and working. And it's funny because the creative pursuits kind of, you, when you have to just work all the time, it's not that they go away. It's just you don't have the time, right? And then we have kids. So, I don't know. <laughs> Life happens, yeah. yeah. Life happens. And it's like, it's 10 years later. <laughs> Do you think that you would get back to pursuing that part of you uh, after kids maybe grow up? Yeah. Well, I mean, right now, I'm getting some of that in with the YouTube. So, that's that's mm -hmm. good. I, I would love to do music professionally. But, you know, it's very difficult because... I feel like the time to do that, I, I really would have wanted it to be doing it professionally five years ago. So yeah. at this point, it's more of a more of a hobby, I would say. Okay. Uh, do your kids? Yeah, enjoy, I mean, do your kids enjoy your singing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then uh, that sucks. <laughs> Um, you said about Disney. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure people are interested more in that subject too. Mm -hmm. um, what were you doing there? What, for five years you said uh, you were working yeah. there? So I started when the store at Market Mall opened as one of the key holders and um, there's really good benefits when you work for Disney. You get park tickets. So um, Ooh. I've always been in management. Yeah, yeah. So I, I would get the tickets and save them up and uh, go on trips with um, with my family. Um, but it was it was cool. I mean, working for Disney, it's a really really big company, really good company, very good um, kind of HR stuff. Um, and you know, it's like anything you get out of it, what you bring into it. So I've had people who I hired um, who just just love being there, and then there's people who. Um, I've worked with that are miserable. I mean, happy people are going to be happy and unhappy people are generally going to be unhappy. There's not a lot you can do. So, you know, when I was, when I was doing the hiring, that was always kind of what I was looking for is how do these people see themselves in the world? Do they feel like they're doing what they should be doing? Are they happy? Are they optimistic? Are they looking forward? Because it's really, really difficult to, um, even if someone is the most talented person in the world, it's hard to work with someone who doesn't have a good attitude so yeah no i actually i really enjoyed doing hiring um and the perks were really good um it was great because you could sing at work <laughs> <laughs> yes that's a good but, combination but it was retail right i mean i don't know have you ever worked retail yeah yeah, so I mean, you count the money, you tidy the t shirt tables. I am very good at folding t shirts <laughs> at this point in my life. <laughs> um, and you know, you deal with people, um, people stuff all the time. So I was a lead cast member, and then I went on maternity leave to have my son. And I came back and covered a maternity leave as the store assistant manager. And then I um, got promoted to an assistant manager. And then I had my second daughter and then I went on maternity leave and I came back and was covering a store manager position. Um, yeah. and that recently ended. It's just, actually, I, I have to say, I don't think I would ever do it again. Management is terrifying. That's yeah, definitely a lot of responsibility. Um, connected to, to that, have you ever thought when you were doing or building up your channel on YouTube, um, I know there are a lot of YouTube channels that are uh, very purposely going Disney route in general. Uh, mm -hmm. Since you were connected already in your professional life with it, have you thought of doing something with regards to that? It's it's really difficult because um, I, I still have a hard time talking uh, 
about it just because I, I left pretty recently. That's why I've kind of been really attacking the YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. And it was it was amicable, but uh, it's just it, it, it's a little little difficult, right. right? Because when you're working there, you can't really um, you, you can't cross pollinate, right? Like you're, you're not right. really supposed to have opinions about anything. Right. I mean, you can be positive, but for me to review something or for me to even um, do a song, like I remember I did a couple songs from Moana um, two years ago and I was shocked because <laughs> I got the message saying, this is like, this is copyright infringement, infringement. And I'm like, I'm walking around with a jar of rice. <laughs> song. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> How Disney's going to lose money. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I mean, like, if it's obscure, that's interesting. But there are, is so much money that they have. And there's so many people who live by the parks that can just go to the parks. And I'm like, why would anyone want to watch me in Calgary talking about Disney? I mean, maybe Disney stores. But, like, when there's people who are vlogging at the parks every day, when there's people that are really, really good at editing and music and singing and just have more access to that culture, I, I, I almost am like, okay, that would be a little too complicated. Competitive. Anything I do, Disney would kind of have to be very, very um, like vintage Disney stuff from the 50s and 60s and 70s is kind of where I would go for it because anything after like 1985, it's just like it's so saturated that that doesn't interest me a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it did, but it's it's, it's very idea. competitive. So, yeah. Well, uh, vintage Disney, I think, is a great idea. It's just little, little, little of that, I think, is covered. I wasn't where I was part of the show anymore. I thought you were giving me the boot. <laughs> you were doing so well on your own. I'm sitting here. Oh, no. <laughs> I've just been kind of giving you your own medicine from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go. I'm sorry. I talk a lot. Oh, no, 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 no. not you. <laughs> I'm just bugging and send you. Apparently, no. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. <laughs> You guys Is anyone going... even still here? Oh, there's a couple of people. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. So uh, you can jump in any time. Oh, don't put me on the spot now. I, was, I think I was oh, watching the controls now. You're putting me on the, the hot seat. Uh, <laughs> Rolls reversed. <laughs> <laughs> can you were so saying... <laughs> This is not professional. This is this life. Is, this is life for years. This is life. Uh, you guys are great. No, you're doing good. I really like that picture in the background too. Uh, I um, Mom, yeah. I have my husband's closet there, so I just try oh. to keep it closed. <laughs> this is a picture I took in Slovenia. It's uh, Ljubljana. It's beautiful. Oh, thank it's you. Really, really beautiful. I'm not much of a photographer. She is, so I'm proud. It's my one picture that I can say that I. I <laughs> Oh, definitely. Uh, oh. Most of these pictures on the walls here is by Andrew. There's only a few mm. by me, and uh, yeah, they're they're great. I started traveling in my I had traveled North America lots when I started traveling Europe in my 40s. So wow. that was from a backpack. Well, I took the train for two weeks across Europe, but yeah, did a couple of trips. So that's yeah. amazing. That is my greatest souvenir from traveling that I brought. Back. <laughs> uh, well, uh, if if we're going towards the souvenirs, and I was going to say. Post-Soviet souvenir, uh, you know yes. about your <laughs> about your uh, connection to Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. My grandma is. Um, she recently passed away, but she's Ukrainian. Um, oh, so sorry. Yeah, yeah it was uh, this fall in October, but um, she was um, actually. So she was raised Ukrainian Catholic, but because my family went to a very small. Um, town like my dad and his sisters they were actually raised in the rc faith um uh, which is totally fine i have a lot of respect and I mean, it's two sides of the same coin but what happened is when my father's grandma died he went to her funeral and the parastas and the service was just so beautiful he was so blown away by the music that he began attending a Ukrainian Catholic church and he decided that he was going to raise his children in a Ukrainian Catholic church. And um, he just really became like the cantor um, for Vernon and then Grinrod, um, just very, very involved in the church there. And 
I mean, from the age of like four, it's like, okay, Violet, you're going to sing soprano. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, we would go Christmas caroling every year. And, you know, I, I didn't love it because I was like small, right? Maybe six, seven when we started going. And what when we go you uh, Christmas caroling, the Ukrainian Catholics, like you get to the door and the tradition is everyone has a shot of vodka and then they all sing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a good time, but um, no, it's uh, the the Ukrainian is my grandma, and then my my dad's experience because I, obviously um, I I can't speak Ukrainian. I'm sure if you listen carefully, you can hear that um, when I'm singing in Ukrainian, it, it's very much like you could probably tell that I'm not a native speaker. Um, but you know, uh, when my dad would write out the music, he could read Cyrillic, so he would actually spell it out in English. You know, so a lot of uh, OOs and SPs and uh, <laughs> guessing. So I mean, I, I hope it comes out okay. And uh, you know, you always worry when you're trying to sing in a different language that you might be insulting someone. <laughs> so. Of course, because sometimes just the change of a, one little hint on the accent can make a whole difference in a word. So yeah, you're always a little bit more on guard. But yeah. I admire, though, in a, being a second generation, so to say, uh, you know, that you are still pursuing that uh, as well. I mean, I think it's much harder uh, to do it if you haven't been uh, raised in their, you know, in that in that um, saturated language environment more. Well, and that's the thing, too, right? Like, um, it was it, it was the kind of thing where. Um, Growing up, there was 19 cousins, right? And mm. it was just us six in my family that went to the... Uh, <laughs> hello. hello. Yeah. hello. They're saying hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Do you like live streams? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sweet. Mama, I need something for you. What did you make? Ooh. She made me a bag. Oh. A wrapping paper. That's beautiful. You did, look at that. It's fancy. Yeah. yeah. You did a great job. <laughs> I think. I, I think that what you say about, um, you know, being second generation, it's in Canada, you kind of have to choose what your culture is if you're born in Canada and embrace something. Because if you don't, then you feel like you're blowing in the wind, right? And mm -hmm. if there's things you don't agree about secular culture, I mean, you need to have something else that you're holding on to, right? It's just, it, it, it's um, it's very challenging, absolutely. Um, you, don't, you don't have a lot of peers, right? Um, and I mean, it, it was cool though, because my husband, um, he, can you can see hi. Oh, yeah, there's miracle. <laughs> banana. Hi. Hi. How did you do that? I thought you guys were going to bed. Yeah. They're curious, okay. right? Yeah. 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 Our little one is, I think, asleep. Otherwise, she would be running here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asking, asking if she can go to your house. That would be the next. Yeah. Question. Oh, it's a party here. Let me tell you. Yeah. Are we gonna? Are we gonna sit? Yeah. No, my, my live streams tend to degenerate at about this point. Oh, <laughs> no. hey, we have kids too, don't mind that. I understand. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. You, you should go to bed though, okay? No, it's bedtime. That, that is non negotiable. You're supposed to mind. Yeah, you can share the banana. Oh, does dad want to say hi? Say hi, Phil. Hi. 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 He's gonna come talk about Bitcoin, right? No. Right? No. <laughs> I tried. He's he's taking care of the the banana eaters. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um. They they love crashing live streams. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. That's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a live stream. That's that is definitely the fun exactly. of it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. It, Maintain uh, any traditions within your family? Like, uh, what part of uh, heritage are you like holding on to, or, or thinking of still, uh, you know, having your family as well or for your for your kids? Well, I mean, we go to the Ukrainian Catholic Church every Sunday. Um, we, I'm sitting on a yoga ball. That's why I'm rolling around. Um, we actually do pasinko, so the decorated eggs at Easter. Um, we it, it's very much the religious and the music part and um i mean 
I, I did learn how to pinch pierogies. I will probably have my children do that with me. We do make the bread. So some of the food, the music, um, definitely the religious practice is kind of kind of what I still got from uh, from that part of my family. I mean, it, it's fun. I, I'm really, really looking forward to going to my younger sister's graduation next month because she's the best alto I've ever met. And I'm like, it would be so good to do some four part harmony with an alto who can actually sing alto instead of me who struggles with that. No, <laughs> so. my God, no, God I don't almighty. think so. <laughs> Jeez, I, uh, that, that song you did the other day, the, the, oh my God almighty, I couldn't believe what I was listening <laughs> oh, to. Oh, voice yeah. is amazing. Jeez. Thank you. It's, um, it, there's so much stuff to do too, so much music from my faith um, uh, from the Eastern Catholic Church. Uh, it's it's very strange. I remember because when I was growing up, it's like Ukrainian Catholic, right? But then it's changed. It's become the um, you Eastern Catholic um, or Eastern Orthodox or Ukrainian Catholic, uh, Ukrainian Greek Catholic. Like the names just gotten longer and longer and yeah. longer. It still means the same thing, but I guess what we're finding is there's just not a lot of us and we're not so different from each other as we think. And, you know, if someone who has a similar background and recognizes it, they, they would get something from, from us too. So yeah, it was, it was so weird because I remember when I was going to summer camps, it was funny because the Russian Orthodox kids really did not like the ukrainian catholic kids and they just wouldn't mix but that changed so yeah. now, now everyone's kind of like hey you have similar values to me i appreciate that i think we can get along so hmm. yeah like i never knew that there is uh latvian orthodox was it? yeah up until i saw a seinfeld episode when they're talking about latvian orthodox like what there is such a thing. <laughs> yeah. And the brother picked it thinking there was none until he started getting letters from some saying, thank you for recognizing our church. Really? I, didn't even, I thought it was fictitious. So. I never heard of anything <laughs> while I was living there for most of my life. So it's, this, you know, it's, it's funny how it's, it is different when you're there and when you're here but the, talking But about I mean, you have a bit of basic traditions in all orthodoxes based on the locale, the history, the tradition. Mm -hmm. But a lot of it too, and it's not the downplay, it is, is based on the language and the, the, the area. There is a lot more shared than differences, like you said. Oh, you Even Greek Orthodox and all that, you know, is still yeah. more based on the language. It's not that it's completely the same, but there is a lot of common threads holding each one together. Well, I mean, I know my dad really likes doing stuff in Old Slavonic, right? And that's mm -hmm. kind of like the Latin, right? Yeah. Exactly. Definitely, so, oh, that's definitely so cool. has a value to it for sure. That's oh, go ahead. Yep. Nope. You're the floor. Well, I was <laughs> going to change a little bit subject into Ukrainian food. <laughs> okay. Oh. So of course, I want to know what you make from that. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, so it's been really difficult because my husband is very sensitive to wheat. Right, so <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's very difficult. But um, I, I really, actually, for Easter, um, this is the first year in probably ten years that I haven't rolled out the um, the pasta for my Easter, right? Uh, for my parents, this year my little brother did it. Oh, uh, <laughs> two thousand six. So that makes him twelve. My twelve-year-old brother did it this year, and he did a very good job. But yeah, we're rolling out the bread. Um, my other brother Boris really likes the version with like the lemon in it because you can make sometimes there's like um, a recipe that you add zested lemon to and that's very good it's yeah. so beautiful too braiding the bread I remember um, growing up like what you'd want to do is get the little um, artistic birds that they put on top and get one of those <laughs> <laughs> so I mean that, that was good um, and then the the perohe I mean I pinched a lot of pierogies growing up, but they didn't hold together very well. I mean, I it, it, that became difficult too, right? Because it, they've they've become so inexpensive to buy, so the incentive to make them is just not the same as it was 
before. I mean, homemade pierogies are still going to be the best, but um, yeah, it's more of a I think an activity, family activity has become yeah. uh, than the purpose of uh, of actually eating them. Uh, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when my um, older brother spent some time at the monastery, there was like pierogi eating contests, and he was just like. Because he doesn't like, uh, Freddie doesn't like pierogies, right? So <laughs> the monastery, when the monks would have the pierogi eating contest, he just tap out. That's an interesting combination in one sentence. Monks would have a pierogi e eating contest. Yeah, 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 they would. This is, this is what I've been told. I hope this wasn't uh, wow, <laughs> classified. No, I know, <laughs> but this is so fun. Like Who can eat the most pierogies? That's right. This is a good pastime. It sounds so much fun, but then when you talk, you know, think about monastery, it seems so serious, you know. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm just going to, well, T-Throg asked a really good question here. I'm curious if Violet met any well-known people or celebrities working at Disney. Hmm, that's a good question. Oh, well... You know what? Um, I'm gonna say no because it was all Disney store specific, right? Uh -huh. So, like I would say, um, people very high up in the Disney store I did meet, but outside of the Disney store kind of line, not so much. Um, and then at the Disney parks, I know I was at Disneyland when Elton John was playing on his red piano, but it was so busy I didn't even see him. So uh -huh. no, <laughs> I, I I have not met. Any celebrities, unfortunately. Mm. Sorry. Until well, you make it big from your singing, and then you'll know yourself, and you'll be your first celebrity. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys are celebrities. Are YouTube celebrities? Oh my, oh my god! god. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> oh no. <Good> <laughs> Not even being shy. It's no, not, no, uh, it's, it's not the same this, comparable. This is not cute, modest, or anything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's flat out. Yeah. Good. No, you guys are awesome. You're you're really really nice. I like I like what you do. Well, we just kind of do what we do. I mean, it's not like no, it doesn't always feel like we have so many people in our house or anything. But it's really kind of just talking to people and not. We've always said we're not going to try to pretend we're something we're not and try to make it look like a big studio set in our living room. But we're also going to try to keep it from getting too uh, too big in our style either. You know, just be us and see if that works for people and. It's been good. That's good. Yeah, good to meet no. lots of great guys. You know, lots of people like you. I mean, we've met so many people in such a short amount of time and got to give them a chance to talk to other people. And I, th I think that's been our kind of our thanks back for what we got from you, too. Well, it's it's a really good, a good community. I um, was at 42 subscribers the entirety of my YouTube career until... Um, the beginning of April when I jumped on to I am a creator and just like oh I can actually meet people and build community it takes a lot of work mm. but people yeah. people are interested uh, you just have to be interested right it's like that Dale Carnegie book right mm. <laughs> just, uh, a everything of, a lot of people think there's like this golden wish to it and it is a lot of work because you got to reply to people and as soon as they come in, reply back so you don't lose them and get them used to you and get in, make sure it gets into their uh, streams when you put up new videos. It is a lot of work. Well, it's, it's really difficult because what, what you want to do is um, make a personal connection with as many people as possible, right? Like, I find it really, really hard with channels that don't actually have any kind of vlog style, right? Mm -hmm. So if there's someone talking, then I can remember. But so like uh, the gaming channels, I will say are challenging for me if the people don't vlog as well. But if they're gaming and vlogging, then I absolutely find to look at their stuff. It's just, it, it, it's difficult for me to keep them separate, right? Right. So it, that, that, that would be my area of challenge. I mean, I, I, I do have an easier time building community with vloggers, I think, than, mm -hmm. than um, like, I, I'll give you an example. Uh, Verdict Squad has the most amazing streams, and I'm always hopping on his streams because he is, like, a live stream rock star. He's just ridiculous and so mm -hmm. energetic. He just doesn't stop. Like, he's a machine. But his content, like, I go to watch his content, and he doesn't put up a lot of content aside from his streams that I can watch, right? Mm -hmm. So if I didn't know he had amazing streams, 
how would I even find him, right? The I am a creator hashtag is like how I've met a ton of people. So I'm grateful that I found that it was, it was quite the, it, it, it's like it, it was instructions on how to be a good YouTube citizen, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I, yeah. you know, and then afterwards, it's up to us how we maintain the relationship uh, yeah. with the channels after. And mm -hmm. like, with regards to the content that you were saying, that's why uh, we, why we're doing the, or continue doing our live streams, as well. We say to get up close and personal with the channels because. Uh, why, why we were trying to uh, to build our community, uh, you know, to, to, to have more subscribers and, and to discover more channels out there in general. I, find, I found, and I think Andrew can agree, that oftentimes there was uh, something different even behind the channel, maybe someone even sometimes even more exciting behind the channel. Mm -hmm. and, and that was so interesting having uh, guests like you today yeah. uh, to, to see what else is there. Exactly. Because at the end, it's, it's not a, at Violet Bird channel, uh, you know, connecting with at Push Studios. It, it's, it's you connecting with Andrew and Senny. And, and that's what's so cool about it is to know these each other's stories yeah. and especially people don't blog about uh their actual life it's 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 very i agree it's very hard to make that connection like we always bring up musky hans was a great example the guy first goes and it's neat like and he's good at it nothing taken away from him and within 10 minutes we start finding out that he's going for his phd in soil studies he's very <laughs> patient right now and there's well, no for 10 minutes and i'm looking i'm yeah. checking the participants That's so crazy. and nobody's leaving everybody's listening because they're hooked on it because we've never seen it coming and that means it's so interesting and i think that got out you know everybody's kind of looks at them kind of a i hate saying it in a different way because it's not that we thought anything bad of them but we just got so many more layers of the person in these videos and i think that's amazing because you always respond better to that person's videos once you know them better because you have a connection it's so true. I, what you guys are doing is so smart. Um, I, I don't think I have uh, the bandwidth to do to do that, but I'm really hoping that weekly trivia helps in that way, right? Like, yeah. I mean, it, it's not quite the same, but you know, it, it's a good avenue to get to know people for sure. Um, the streaming is amazing. YouTube is very, very clever. They're figuring out how to actually see how to build community, right? Um, when the restrictions came earlier this year, I mean, like, uh, the, it wasn't, I was so close to getting like $20 from YouTube. I was super excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like, yeah. Yes, I'm going to get my first check from YouTube. <laughs> and, you know, I've only been doing this two years, 42 subscribers. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess not. But, um, you know, it's just like, okay, no, wait a minute, challenge accepted. I'm going to see if I can do this better. I'm going to um, produce content. I'm actually going to try and make it look better if I can. I'm going to get better at editing. And uh, I, I mean, I'm still working on it. I'm still like completely over the moon that I figured out how to make split screens work. It's like, yes. <laughs> Pardon my language. Honestly, the one thing I have to say is the adpocalypse was the kick in the butt that I needed. Mm -hmm. I needed it because I'd given up on it and was just I have tons of video, tons of video just sitting there. Trains alone, I think I'm at 110 gigs of trains, just trains. Just a whole server just on them that I have not even touched because I just didn't care anymore. And I'm like, oh, we'll do it for our business. And this can just, it's done. And it really was. It was the, the, the boost I needed to get going. How can you sort through that much footage? I, yeah, 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 yeah. She has it harder than I do because at least footage is longer. Like we do a wedding, she shoots usually about three thousand pictures, so it's a week and a half of just going through each one and deleting, which is unacceptable, then which is semi acceptable, and so on and so forth. You know that's true. I um when I got um my camera, I got it on Kijiji, which I don't recommend. Um, on my last live stream, I explained that <laughs> the lens had a crack in it. So Aww. you'll see a lot of my videos right in the middle on my nose. There's a little, little, little smudge. So I'm like, okay, if I if I get my thousand subscribers and four thousand hours, then I'll get a proper lens. But um, I, I got I got some other lenses on Kijiji that were totally fine. So I've got this wide angle. The only problem with it is you have to manually adjust it. 
but it's a wide angle. I like it. And then there's like a zoom lens, you know, someone was asking me about my camera and I just, I'm like, I, this is the zoomy one and this is the wide angle one. And he just, this guy at the zoo looked at me like I was swearing. It's like, you don't know what it's called. And I'm like, this is the zoomy one. And then I read the thing on it. <laughs> 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 so, so the problem is, is um, when you buy things secondhand and someone's like, yeah, no, I'll give you a deal if you buy all three and you're like, oh yeah, sure. So I'm going but like, you know, I just, oh, I, I, we, go. we lost you for I mean, a second. That's okay. I, I, I guess I, I just completely inexperienced with using the camera. So I, I'm trying to take lots of pictures. I did a little maternity shoot for my um, sister-in-law and brother, and I'm going to try and get pictures of their newborns, um, newborn baby. Okay. But I mean, it's just, just to learn how to use the tools, right? Because that's the only way to do it. Well, exactly. Yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot at everything. And I love yeah. what you said about accepting the challenge. Yeah, uh, about that's right. <laughs> Like you apply that to all, like a lot of things in your life in general too. Our, our hero, Peter McKinnon, I don't know if you've ever seen him before. He's a Canadian YouTuber. He's got like 2 million subscribers. I, I brushed him off until I heard you talk about him. And then oh. I'm like, okay, okay. Who's the studios likes Peter McKinnon. I'll check him yeah. out. Oh, oh, okay. He's good. Yeah. No, he, he, he can tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> get the video. He's the one who got me going, and he's like, "You got this." He goes, "Look at the money. Look what this is worth. You can get this with your eyes closed. This is the push you need to finally get you where you got to go." And I was like, "Yes. It's not patronizing me. It's not insulting me, and it's also saying I'm better than this." Mm -hmm. And really, it did. And I'm not usually one that gets inspired by much. I'm kind of a heavy realist. It's like, uh, I'll watch something else. But yeah, that one actually <laughs> stuck with me. And it's not like I jumped up to the computer, but I kept thinking about it. It's like, well, why not? You know, I got nothing left to lose now. Let's get. We only had forty-two subscribers too. In and February. that seems to be the number, the magic number, I know. right? That's why I wanted <laughs> like... to get up with you. We had that. In <laughs> February <Yep. laughs> second, I think, was yeah, uh, forty-two, and yeah. Oh man. I, I feel like if the YouTube uh, people on the back end are looking at our channels, be like, what are they doing? How are yeah. they doing this? So I'm like, okay, I'm very careful to be consistent with the I am a creator rules because I don't want to get flagged. And, you know, um, as I've gone along, I've hopped on to, I, I, I've gotten better at dealing with people and I've had less people drop off. I mean, like two weeks ago, I would have like 20 30 people drop off overnight and i'm like what's going on here but yeah. um it's just don't go into a, a stream that's like support support because they're just they're just hitting buttons as fast as they can um you actually have to go somewhere where they will watch the content and i mean nobody has bad intentions we're all trying to mm -hmm. you know, all trying to, to get in right we're all trying to be a part of the party and i mean you gotta do what you gotta do but you know follow the parameters I it's always I, when you're looking around to build your channel. It's like a big, uh, like a big buffet table, and some things look tasty and fun. Some things <laughs> more healthy, and you need a balance. You can't take all the wings, but you got to leave room for the. Other <laughs> and that's the same as it is a balance like that. You know? Yeah, it really that's is really and really good. Thing, sometimes I would pig out and go to one play, you know, and hit the forty for the day, and that's a big one, and I would lose. You know, hit 40, only get 20 replies, 10 keep. Sometimes I get 30. Yeah. But then I also like to go to channels that I really like. And then I'll go back like four or five months and see who's <laughs> consistently following them. Because if I like their channel and that person likes their channel, they're probably good followers. And then I'll start going through them and going to look at their content. Yeah, I, I, I do that too. There's a lot of people between like four and 4,000 subscribers and I'll go to their channel and I'll look up their comments and I'll be like, okay, yep. who is following the same people I like? Um, yep. Because they're probably in a similar situation. And right. it's, it, it, it's funny because I actually found the voice of Bart Simpson. Oh, I can't remember her name right now. But it was so funny because I found yep. her channel and I don't think she'll subscribe to me. Worth a try. <laughs> I was like, Worth wow, Bar Simpson has a channel. <laughs> but isn't it amazing what type of channels we got discovered through this? Like yeah. and and I think Andrew was right, you know, it kind of it gave the push, but it also uh put on the surface so many 
smaller channels yeah. that otherwise wouldn't be looking for them, None right? Like uh, people who didn't have like at all subscribers or had like us, you know, 40 subscribers or 100, you would yeah. never go looking for those things. You would mm -hmm. never found them. But uh, because of that uh, apocalypse, you know, yeah. we kind of put them on the surface. And well, it's, it's so amazing. For us, like, I mean, I put a lot of work in our editing. That's my biggest thing. And, you know, some of those videos have 40 hours of editing for one video for five, 10 minutes. And it hurts. It really hurts when only 42 people see it, you know? It's like, why? The, what the hell am I wasting my time for? I'm killing That's myself. So many and no, hours. It's, it's like singing. Oh, man. You know, yeah. you record it, you record it, and nobody hears it. Well, what's the point? So I, I was, uh, oh, I, I can sympathize. No, no, I just, to put that many hours, I mean, like, that is heartbreaking. Like, because I love is, it. I yeah. absolutely love it. And I zoom in because I'm a musician. I used to play <laughs> drums, guitar. I want every note to line up. I want everything to be bang on. Yeah. I play the song in my head to let my ears bleed before I even start picking the video. I always pick the music first, then the footage. Oh, wow. And, okay. Um, yeah. And, uh, That's a good idea, though. There's a video I did. She uh, brought the 80s back to Montreal. It's my niece. My wife did a photo shoot with her. And I had this song for months, and I wanted to use it so badly, but just nothing that I wanted to use with. And then I found some new footage, and then I found all the pictures of the photo shoot, and the video was born from that. But to have people saying, I love what you're doing. Oh, my God. I like your editing. That means more to me than any money I'll ever get from YouTube, because it was finally... I don't want to be worshipped, but I just want somebody to see it, and even if they don't like it. At least I had somebody go and say, this is not my cup of tea. I'm just almost as good with that. Yeah, Any like, attention would be appreciated. Acknowledgement. Yes, acknowledgement. Well, I mean, we're all kind of, you know, I always get back to this idea that we're all on this boat together, right? Yeah. We're very fortunate to be alive in a time where we can connect with so many people. But, yeah. you know, when you think about it, it's how sad is it that, you know, uh, Shakespeare or Byron or um, C.S. Lewis or Tolkien, like we won't get to talk to them in this way. We won't get to make the connections. So, I mean, who who will our descendants be looking at? And I mean, how many <laughs> terabytes of footage will they be sorting through to, well, to learn? Yeah, because before the internet, it was such a narrow group of people that got fame. Yeah. It was very easy to find them. But now it's such different, very levels of fame. Our descendants, if there was a cut in history for 100 years and came back and found the last 10 of ours, it's very confusing to see who actually was in the hierarchy of where they stood. Imagine if we could actually talk or actually watch the live stream of Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, so or cool. Tolstoy, or like, uh, it would be unbelievable just to think about it. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of them were very unpleasant. Yeah, yes, that's true. <laughs> well, we all lived in very hard times. You know, everybody wants to say, oh, I can live back at this time. We're very lucky to live when we do. I mean, it's not always perfect. But there's nothing romantic about having no bathrooms and nothing romantic about rampant disease. And, I mean, you know, it's not that we don't have it today. But all, all I have to say is, like, my gosh, we live at a time yeah. where you can get a little drone and see – the world you can actually appreciate the beauty in a different way right i mean you can look at a window of an airplane but it's hard yeah. to get the same i just I, as soon as um i i was watching i justine's drone videos and i'm like this is actually different this is so different and i don't think i could watch drone footage all day unless it was very very well cut with great music yeah. but it's just it's actually so it, it really provides clarity, right? And oh. I have to say, like, my husband loves that I got a dinky little drone, and my in-laws mm. love it, and it's, it's it's such a cool thing. I mean, it my is. um my three-year-old wants a Lightning McQueen drone. I'm, like, oh. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. <laughs> that is so interesting. Exactly. In that, though. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and I, I guess there's bad things, of course, that come with drones, but there's a lot of good, too, so... It is. It's just it's like everything else in life. There's always gonna be a bad side and a good side to it. And I, I use that in every scenario possible. Everything is a everything is a weapon in one hand and a savior in the other. It just depends who's wielding it. So mm -hmm. yeah. well, I'm just my, my my husband's putting my daughter yeah. to bed. I hope you can't hear her screaming. I think you guys can though. She's very assertive. It's well, um it's difficult. <laughs> 
I forget which father it was of the hockey player. I mean, for life, I can't remember. And I'll never forget those words because I have a son who's 20. And when he was younger, I was listening to the radio one day, probably pulling my hair out. And he said the son, he wrote a book about his sons, and he said his sons were always so hard. He used the term hard-headed as a joke when they were growing up. You know, they didn't listen. Told them they wouldn't give in. They were tough. And he said that's also the same hard-headedness that kept them away from drugs. The same hard-headedness that kept them in school and mm -hmm. got them where they were. You know what I mean? The, 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 once again, then depends on the hands it's in. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very important to be stubborn. Um, I mean, it makes it more difficult to, you know, get along with people who are stubborn. But at the end of the day, they get things done, right? Like I'm trying to teach the six-year-old piano and we fight for 30 minutes and mm -hmm. then we work for five minutes. <laughs> Well, it's still some somewhat ahead, so <laughs> I feel the same way sometimes with the kids. Oh, my God. Uh, so what do you see in the future of uh, your life uh, and the channel? Well, I um, I'm hoping allergy season ends soon because it's hard to sing when you've got allergies going on. So oh, no. yes, yeah. It's just gross, but um, I actually I, I'm really excited to see to actually um, get some more exposure for music from my faith because I don't see a ton of it on YouTube at this point. I mean, there's a bit, but mm -hmm. um, there's nobody doing that at all. This the, the way I'm doing it, and yep. it's just it's absolutely thrilling because I think that I might be good enough with my. Um, my family popping in with some altos, with some bass, with some tenors. Wow. And I think my editing is going to get decent enough that I might actually have something unique on YouTube. And I don't think that the community necessarily is big enough that I'll blow up to the moon with it. But I think I will have something very special with that angle. Um, yeah, but I, I, mean, I think you're doing great with what you're doing. And thank you. To put it frankly, what I like about yours is you have this positive message. You do your your faith is you can definitely see it in you. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean this the wrong. I mean this as the greatest compliment I give somebody. It's not pushed down your throat, which does happen. I find a lot in those scenarios. And you found a great way of doing of the complete polar opposite of it. And the message is not lost by you doing it. I think it's actually a chance of more people embracing it because of that. Thank you. I. And that's the thing too, is I can't tell you what I believe, but I can show you, mm -hmm. right? Um, yep. If I can show you what is keeping me awake at night, you know, what I, I dream about, or, you know, if I sing a song and it brings something to mind that, and I cry, you know, mm -hmm. if, I, if, I'm, if there's something that I sing that, evokes a memory that'll make me cry like I, I i hope that comes through i don't think i've um the, i don't know if you guys listened there's um actually the peristas from my grandma's funeral the part one of that um the plot two and the peristas i listened to that while i was raking yesterday and like i was just a mess for like an hour afterwards i was just crying because mm. music and especially when you're singing with people you love really 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 is evocative and um that's the that's the only risk really with doing that is I, I when when people are critical and they will be they're actually going to be critical of something that is very um, central to who I am as a person to my faith to my soul right like right. W when you're singing for your grandma who has died it really doesn't get much more um, personal than that and um, I mean, it's 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 a very honest form of expression too. It's very mm. raw. So, yeah. No, I I'm glad you appreciate that. Thank you for uh, for mentioning that. We're not nothing to thank us for. We're just noticing what you're doing. So, you it's yeah. what you're doing that uh, is making the difference for you. Well, I, I'm gonna gonna keep on with that. Um, but you know, because that is it does get heavy too. I have other things I do on my channel as well, just to exactly. try and balance it, right? That's the so. point. That's you said it right there. That's exactly what it is. Remember, I was making the joke a while ago about the buffet tale, but there is, there is a message in the way we do everything in life, and it does come down to balance. And even good things of too much can, you know, 
it, it, you want to have that roundedness and i think people see you more connect more with you when you have a roundedness in you and that includes your channel as well yeah in the chat people too have referenced before mm -hmm. and 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 now as well Jose is saying that you're doing an excellent job of that yeah. you know, well it's it, it's just um the kind of thing where i think a lot of people are very afraid of um traditional faith mm -hmm. because they actually haven't had any exposure to it other than people telling them what they should or shouldn't do in a very clear way. So when someone says, look, you know, if you talk in that way, then you're putting this and this at jeopardy, all of a sudden you're afraid, right? right. And they haven't shared with you. They haven't brought you into the experience. They haven't made you want to be a part of something else. Right. And I, I'm not at all interested in, um, having people <laughs> do what what I do. I'm interested in having them be interested in it, you know, and ask more questions. Like my, my husband was um, raised Protestant and after we got married, he actually um, was baptized in the Catholic church because he was um, not baptized in his faith before. And it was just because of how that faith was presented to him. It was just a different kind of passion and feeling. I don't know. I, maybe I'll have him talk about it one day. Not anytime soon, though. <laughs> I, I've got a lot of ground to cover before we get there. <laughs> I was raised by parents. My father was Catholic. My mother was Protestant. And uh, we were raised Protestant, because, uh, Catholic, because I was adopted. And that was the one request my birth mother had. Is whoever adopted me had to raise uh, to ask that I had to be raised Catholic, which was kind of strange because my poor father wasn't exactly the most religious person in the world, and my mother was. So oh. she was, you know, but she then had to take on both religions. And then, of course, she had baptized my sister Catholic because it was just easier to have us both in the same one. Yeah. She remained Protestant, but they got well, married in '65. That's really good. Yeah, oh. they got married in '65, and it was considered a mixed marriage back then. Mm -hmm. And like my father's aunts, like were really mean. Some of them wouldn't go to the wedding because he was marrying a Protestant. Like it's amazing, just so many. Oh years man! That even within Christianity, you know, you'd have these great divides, and that how much things have come along in such a short time. It's really difficult. I mean, yeah. a lot of um, the Protestants, a lot of my husband's friends, when they found out he was dating a Catholic girl, they were just absolutely terrified of me. It's like you're going to have 18 children and you have to worship the Pope, and I'm like. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds a little weird. But uh, I mean, it's just, I, I think that there was some really effective scare tactics uh, mm. towards the Catholic Church. And, you know, there was some really bad problems too. So that's that's a whole can of worms. But, mm. you know, you, you just don't want what it actually is to get lost in the noise, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I, but I think right. you uh, you are putting it out there in a very exactly. soft and beautiful way. Yep. Thank you. That's a, that's a, it's really nice to see. It's really refreshing. Yeah, like Hosier, yeah. don't Hosier is saying, don't tell them about your face. Show them face through the way you live. Exactly. Exactly. That's the. That's a very good way of putting it. Yeah. Not when I'm merging, though. <laughs> I'm not a very good driver. I will admit that freely. I'm working on it, but oh man, driving in the city. <laughs> it gets colorful. There, that's the, there the core <laughs> game. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. There she is in all her glory. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Yeah. Oh, no. God. Uh. Oh, uh, even the picture tonight, the one the ascent that we use, I'm like, this is so violent right here. Like, I'd almost picture the whole scene going. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm pretty goofy. Um, I, I really don't take myself very seriously, except, of course, when it comes to my faith. But that's, um, I think anyone can say that. It's, uh, of course. And and even with your faith, like I mean, you know, you, it's it's not taking yourself seriously. It's enjoying life. Well, Ed, we're only here once, and uh, you we're doing it the best we can, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? You know, mm -hmm. 
because it, it, it is it's a lot the, the world is a lot of weight on one's shoulders and you need an outlet everybody does because it it will crush you i mean and and i'm not saying everybody has their own ways of having that outlet but it is important and it's that's even like you have your faith and that's great but you even have that other side of you and that's just as important too they do coexist together for that reason is to give you you know any uh, i guess balance i hate to say it but once again it's that balance thing you know yeah. it is a lot to, this world comes with a lot of pressures it definitely does yes mm -hmm. it's uh mm -hmm. so i mean youtube is great because you can kind of select for what you want to show the world right um right. and it, it's i i don't have a problem with that because the, the thing is is um when you actually are going in and editing and creating something mm -hmm. you're telling a different kind of story you're like look if i was the best version of myself this is what it would look like that might not be entirely who i am but this is how i see myself and if you see yourself well and present that to the world that's good and it's just i think to be a creator you are always trying to find the confidence to do something right because if you don't do anything then you have no content and to be brave enough to say okay you know what um i need to put something out and i'm going to put something out and oh geez this wasn't quite right like my hair was over my eyes or something or whatever but it's just i don't know it's just it, it, it's difficult i mean we having these communities is amazing because you can build each other up and help learn that confidence and grow it i mean you guys are wonderful i really appreciate the time you're taking to talk to me because it's um really how you build community is by talking to people by appreciating them for what they do and i mean i will never edit videos like you guys do oh, but <laughs> don't need to because you're already doing it but i could never say like you, you know that's just, like everybody has their talents they bring to the table and you do great edits you know and it, it, it's very hard in youtube and i admire a lot of specialty channels for that you have a guy who is oh like to compare it on these guys you know i'm really no he's good at photography i'm taking another yeah. example you know okay this person's into knitting okay great and they're amazing knitters but now they want to go on youtube so now they got to learn how to shoot with the camera now they have to learn how to live stream they learn have to learn how to edit they have to learn how to market they have to learn how to do tags and all these things and that's 10 different things to do one thing that they're really good mm -hmm. at and my hat's like off to the people that do that because it, some people i would be like well i'm good at this why should i go through all the work so it is a lot of things Oh, it really pretty. is. Yeah. Where did you learn the editing? I'm self-taught, can you tell? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. No, I, thought you movie. I thought you're really not giving yourself enough credit exactly. for your work. Exactly. That's why I yeah. asked. I thought maybe you had courses or something like that at least. Uh, Nothing at all. No. It's <laughs> like I always said, I always pick my music first because we don't have most much voice in our. It's mostly cinema, uh, uh, cinema uh, short uh, movies. I'm, I'm so tongue tied. I'm so tired <laughs> from working on my car. Almost bringing. I'm just can't even think straight. But you know, when you put it together, uh, it is like creating a song. So you're a, a singer, so you can relate that part into editing. The same as somebody who is a painter from being a all these arts and talents you bring or knitting a pair of socks from beginning editing is the exact same thing is a beginning a middle and an end and tying together that it has a flow and the same as you know from singing and everything is the exact same way writing a song or playing guitar uh cooking a meal you know that you they all follow that same premise when it comes to editing i mean it's all storytelling yep you can have a really crappy camera and tell an amazing story. You can also have a very expensive camera crew and a video and have a really horrible story. <laughs> it's it's got nothing to do with what you own. It's what you're telling. Yeah. I, I will say to anyone who's watching, though, I, I still will subscribe to your channel if your content's good. But if you're going to shoot with your iPhone, don't do it this way. Do it this way. That's right. Thank you. <laughs>
Sorry, I just every time I see it like that, I just die a little inside. Drives me crazy. My, <laughs> my, own, oh my god, I can't even think about it. Oh, I just I, I'm, 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 oh. you're turning purple. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, it just gives me every creepy feeling. Turn it around. Yeah. Exactly. But it looks nice here. Yeah, but when anybody else watches it, you're gonna have like three quarters of a black bar. I know. Yeah. It. No. Oh, it's great, but. Well, I mean, I guess for like my um, zigging stuff, I could do that because I'm cutting it. But, yeah, but I, I, I use my camera for that, so no. Mm -mm. You really did a good job with that, by the way. Yes, I, I just loved. I actually put, just put the link to uh, <laughs> to one of them. I I, I just like that video so much. Mm -hmm. No, that was it's really so well done. Funny, and it it sounds great. It's funny at the same time. The combination of serious and funny in yeah. one piece of the content is 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 what draws me to your channel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I I I don't know how to be other than what I am, but thank you. I is uh, my husband doesn't take himself very seriously either, but he takes himself a little more seriously than me. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was so funny because on my live stream last week, um, I or two weeks ago. I had him come out and be a moderator, and everyone's like, "Oh, Violet's husband! Let's let's all go join his channel." And he's like, he turned red and he went to his channel and deleted all his old videos that he didn't oh. like. He's like, "All oh, these new people are subscribing." Oh, oh no! That's awful. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. Well, the, the, the problem is, is when you have like uh, two videos day one of a challenge and it's like from three years ago. So we just got rid of those ones. The other ones are there. But it was so funny because <laughs> and then and then my dad hopped on one of my live streams and I'm like and, and my little brother. Right. The worst thing is, is my mom doesn't love um having her own accounts and things. So she uses my 12 year old brothers, right? So she'll go on my video with like me reviewing shoes under my 12 year old brother's account to be like, oh, those are some really fancy shoes in the comment section. And my 12 year old brother will come home and be like, oh my God. <laughs> My par my parents do that constantly. Yes. And it'll be like my father's name and oh Audrey, that's a cutie woody little sweater you got on today. That just sounds like my father's sweater. my father loves his grandchildren, but yeah, he doesn't use those words. And the worst part of it, I kid you not, they have their living room, they have two desks, one in each corner and an angle. Yeah. Here. Let's and hope they, our with, mother is with, not listening. With now. laptops each side. <laughs> and they play these famous Facebook games, you know, roulette is my father's, my mother is her game. So yeah. if you share with another person, you get points. Well, they don't know really how to log out, log back in, so they literally get up and switch seats, play the other one's games. <laughs> I go back to the chair. I'm sitting there watching this, and it's like watching like a, a Woodlands Who's Who, you know, <laughs> like in the natural habitat. Like you you know, to get up and you switch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're crossing each other's paths as they go across. You know? It's a high five. Yeah, right. that's right. That's right. I did it, Mom. You know, he's all excited, yes. and marks, you know, or whatever they get. So. Yeah, oh it's amazing gosh. how they've taken technology and made it their own. <laughs> well, and that's that's the thing. It's just, it's fun. But I mean, having to actually use Twitter, I I don't like Twitter, but I understand it's very useful. Yeah. But um, I I actually like Instagram, but Instagram doesn't talk to YouTube or Twitter very well. So mm -hmm. it's like, what do you do? And Facebook, I mean, does anybody still use Facebook really? No. Um, you can just use it because we already had it and uh, we have like a local base that is more attracted to Facebook, so to say. So mm -hmm. we still kind of keep some content on, maybe not as much as we used to, but it, it's definitely a dead thing for pages unless you yeah. make it under the personal account, which My, um, yeah. would work actually better. And that's what I see people doing now instead of creating pages for blogs that do it as a personal account. Yeah. Uh, so if if you were interested in Facebook, then uh, that probably would create more uh, supporters. Well, the problem with Facebook is that's how I met my husband. So we use the Facebook Messenger instead of texting each other. So that always kind of keeps Facebook in the background. But um, in terms of communicating with people on Facebook, it's just people don't go there anymore, right? Yep. So, so yeah. I, I can use it like for direct messaging. But aside from that, it's. Uh, we use it half the time to send links to each other. We're just running the same account, just dropping yeah. a messenger. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's, it's, 
I guess we've become like my parents. I guess we're allowed in the Yeah, I guess we're oh, more used to it than we do. Different rooms, <laughs> oh my God. <Yeah. laughs> studio East and Studio West. <laughs> do you guys still have a landline phone or are you all cell phones too? I haven't had a landline since 2002. Oof, I've never had a landline since I left home, but uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it's actually kind of scary because you text people, right? And then when someone calls, it's like, yeah, oh, what is boy, it's, it's a bomb, bomb. it's a bomb. <laughs> I probably should have said that, but I hate it's, answering the phone if I don't see the number. That's what it's used least for now. It shouldn't even be mm -hmm. called a phone anymore. We should go back to like Blackberry used to call them personal assist digital assistants. Yeah, well, you that's know? what it is. Uh -huh. No, when I did it in 2002, people thought I was insane. Like, you know, oh my God, you're never going to... You know, the power goes out and you can't. And back then it was true. You couldn't call 911 on a cell phone. But I'm like, okay. But by the time I got to call 911, it's, yeah, no, it was only probably a couple of years later you could. Was that when you were backpacking in Europe that you got rid of, or that you no. got rid of your landline? Oh, no, that was a long time ago. That was before I was, I was married previously and my oldest son was just two years old and I worked for a music company. And mm -hmm. We had worked at the same place, so I said, I'm just getting tired. I literally, I was tired of coming home and finding eight messages, and they were all from, uh, you need a subscription to having your carpet. Uh, uh, have you heard about this and that? And I'm like, I'm paying for something I don't even need. So that was a whole, no one in Europe, like, I did Europe, but, well, you know, Xenia and I met on a video game, right? No? Yeah, it's yeah. a game called Second Life. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's how you meet people. Oh, really good one, people. We just got dropped in a portal together and just stayed friends, didn't play the game much, but just kept in touch. And then we talked on Skype and stuff. Yeah, because I was still in Latvia and Andrew was here in Canada. So we talked for a while just through 7,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> and seven hour time zone. And seven hour difference. time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But you know, isn't it incredible when you realize that this person is actually a real person? Like yeah. it's, yeah. you think it's just like pretend or it's going to fall apart, but then you meet your person and it's like, you're here, yeah. all of you. And you're just yeah. what I thought you were. This is amazing. Yeah. Or maybe you're even better than I thought, right? Yeah. No, it, it is a weird, it's a great feeling, a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. And like when I flew over, I flew through Germany and I was asleep and then I had a two hour layover and then I flew to Riga and I got out of the airport and you know, airports are notorious for 85 turns per second and every turn I kept going around then I started thinking well what if this goes wrong what if it's not going to work what if she's not there did I just go halfway across you know across Europe and this is you know I mean it's true I love she was there but yeah I was thinking that like what happens if this doesn't work out she decided it's not right what if it is all a scam and I finally <laughs> went to right? and by then you're like kind of heart pounding because it is it's a big commitment this is not like going to meet somebody at a restaurant I no. put up, a, you know, a grand in tickets and stuff like Because I told myself the one thing was, and Xenia is okay with hearing it now, but I did say, I'd, I'm always kind of a realist. So I said, if it doesn't work out, I got a couple of months in Europe, I get to see the place, you know, hang out, and then I'll go home and figure out where I want to go. And, uh, yeah, I finally came out to the doors. I heard somebody yell my name, and then somebody was wrapped around me, kissing me. And then after a bit, I felt this on my shoulder. When I looked around, it was the janitor trying to get through the door. We were blocking everything. And then people started clapping and laughing. And I was just, I don't know, oh, some like laughing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where it all began That's many beautiful. years ago. Yeah, yeah, that was many years ago. But uh, yeah, you, know, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> and it's amazing how uh, even when we are talking now with the guests on, on our streams, how many people actually have connected through internet yep. with their other better hops you know uh it's it's so crazy like facebook or, or just online you know uh, just through internet in general my old uh, archive folder if i'm not mistaken i think i have a couple of pictures of us from when we were in second life yeah i wouldn't oh be surprised gosh. they're in there somewhere probably my goodness <laughs> oh our old my 3D god avatars bring, bring yeah. those out. <laughs> we all we had property together we rented a house yeah we had a pet <laughs> a black pet, panther a plank, a panther i think we got a picture of him probably yeah. <laughs> We didn't really like the game a whole lot. The game was just whack. It was neat and insane all mixed into one. I could see where people were getting drawn into it for 20 hours a day. It literally had everything. There, They had a Catholic church in there with an actual priest <laughs> in mass. They had a real wow. meetings. 
with a real AA advisor. Oh my goodness. You could That's drive, insane. Like, it was, you would walk through streets and go shopping and they'd have like shopping malls and say you wanted to buy a coach. There was all this coach stores. And if you were a graphic designer, you made the skin for it. And another guy made the 3D mo the 3D element. And another guy programmed it so when you sat into it, it reclined and stuff. And people bought it. And not only that, <laughs> you didn't make anything. You get a job working at a store as a sales rep. And the person would walk you through. And we have this model and we have this model. And you see all these avatars walking together and talking and pointing and buying. It had its own currency, Linden's, which was equivalent to... Uh, I think the Nordic crone or something they yeah. based it on too. And it was actual money went in and exchange and yeah, you build oh, a yeah. house, you'd buy a house, you go buy building materials at the building store. People made like different patterns and stuff. Yeah, and I, and I think that that time too, lots of uh, like graphic designers actually were earning money. Through yeah, they were supplementing because, their income. Yeah, like goodness. yeah, because that was a lot like you could, oh my God, you could design everything and anything like up until the baby that uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Was, oh. and and but yeah. what was so exciting? It was so graphically, visually ap yeah. appealing. Like even back then, like you know, more than ten years ago, I think it was more detailed than some of the Sims games yeah, exactly. available now, which is so surprising. Uh, <laughs> interesting yeah. times. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, Miss Kathy's like, here. Welcome. Yeah, welcome back. By the way, I, I wanted to uh, take a note for you uh, that I, I put a video of you harmonizing. It's okay. For people to check and uh, and uh, people are coming back after watching it and and pointing out how they weren't aware of the talent uh, of singing that you have. Yeah. And uh, oh, impression of your channel in general was more based on uh, Disney uh, and princesses. And the suggestion was that maybe you should put your singing channel as your intro or featured yeah. video, and that would better represent your channel in general, plus it would get more attention. OK. Uh, that's a very good suggestion. The problem is, is which video? Probably uh, the first one. I posted the video of, uh, let me, where was it now? Um, the Glory Bee. Okay. That's the one that I put in a chat because I love that video. I don't know how many times I've watched it. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, and that's the one that I posted. So that uh, that's where they were going to watch it. Uh, so I, yeah. Uh, you. If, if you put that, just check it out how it works. But I definitely agree to that, that it gives a different impression to your channel because it does combine that quirky and serious and singing. It kind of gives the feel of the channel. So just a suggestion. Miss <laughs> no, Kathy says, I have enjoyed checking out her channel today. So you see there's even people really going back and really going over it. So yeah i think you're winning over a lot of hearts as usual <laughs> thank you guys no yeah. i um i definitely this is definitely um giving me some clarity about what is really what what my channel is because i know that's i i'm sure you can tell i'm struggling to hone my identity right but but this is the time to do it that's a yeah. good thing and i don't like i don't like when people go and delete it's okay you get something like We'll take a big guy's thing. Uh, Phil DeFranco. I get it sometimes where they delete some of their old stuff because they're a lot more raunchy than that. They don't want to offend anybody. But even he doesn't, yeah. And yeah, he doesn't. He's one of the yeah. few. But I get where some of them do do it that way. Okay. But I believe you should keep up as much of your stuff as you can. It's good for people to see where you came from, where you've grown. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, one of the big Canadian uh, tech channels. Oh, yeah, I watch him. He keeps everything, all the old stuff. He still even acts a lot like the old ones. You know, he's actually proud of keeping that legacy alive and dropping things and forgetting lines. <laughs> but that shows you're human, and that's what makes people connect more to you. Nobody wants to be patronized. And that's the worst thing. It's good to keep all your kind. Everybody can always go back. So when you're huge and everybody's talking about Violet all over the web, they'll be able to go back. I just fell off my yoga ball. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, as long as you're not hurt. Then, you okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't fall all the way. I was just leaning back and, oh. Do you guys do that too or is that just me? Like growing up, I, I, I learned to do this to stop doing it when I was probably 20, but I would lean back in a chair as far as I could. So I'd be like at the kitchen table just leaning back and I would actually like the floor. 
<laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. At restaurants all the time. It was yeah. bad. <laughs> Except never on a yoga ball. I've still never been on a yoga ball, but rolling back on chairs. Well, yeah. we are purchasing uh, one uh, very shortly yeah. for our daughter. So I think mm -hmm. that's happening too. Well, you sit on the yoga ball. <laughs> I used to actually I used to uh I used to sit on it, use it as instead of the chair. And I do find it much more comfortable than chair. Yeah. <laughs> no comment. I, I, I'm too squirmy to sit on a chair. A yoga ball is better because you have to like adjust exactly. to move, right? enjoy too. Does your husband sit on a yoga ball? Um no he did for a little while. He's a teacher, right? And what he found was a standing desk was actually a better solution because the kids yeah. listen to him when he's at a standing desk. When you're like sitting in your desk and you're a teacher, is that the kids like just no respect. But if you're standing at your desk, it's like terrifying. He yeah. has really well behaved kids because he has a standing desk. Mm -hmm. And That's it's true, idea. it improves his posture. And he says he works better because, you know, he isn't physically like relaxed like he's intense right so he's going for it so um yeah yoga balls standing desks um i really wanted a standing desk when i was working for disney because i was doing scheduling and that would be like two three hours and i was awful at it and um i have like low blood pressure so if i sit too long and i'm not moving i actually just fall asleep mm -hmm. <laughs> so um yeah so like standing and yoga balls it's, it's what it's all about um but yeah, it, it, that's so the problem is the best time for me to shoot a video is after my kids are in bed. But yeah. by then I'm like, I'm so tired, right? And it's just, that's, that's the challenge. I'm like, maybe I should just try getting up at like five in the morning and record outside and scare the neighbors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have had these, uh, you know, goals for myself too. And I was like, yeah, maybe I should get her, myself earlier, you know, before everybody's up. But then my daughter started waking up earlier too. So. Yeah. There's no way I'm getting up at four. Babies go to bed, but then at like uh, midnight, so just as I'm actually falling asleep, they need attention. Like they're awake, and I'm like, okay. So, oh, yeah. yeah. That's the age, right? So, yeah. That is the age is right. And that's the balance. I think my favorite word in the last month is balance, is trying to understand how to, what is balance and how to achieve it. The Talk breathing. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, I think I was really, really shocked when I made my first like six YouTube videos because I was pretty sure I'm like, ooh, if if I review me opening my laptop, I'm gonna be like really, really popular on YouTube because that's a thing, right? If, if I do the if I do the thing, then <laughs> you never know. The right timing, you know, yep. everything yeah. falls in the right place and it takes off. But in order to do that, you gotta put the content out. Yep. It's like with that lottery, you know, when you mm -hmm. ask for winning in the lottery, you ask and ask, but you never buy a ticket. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> Yeah, and the same here. You just got to keep putting it out, the content, and one of them is going to catch on. <laughs> With all the editing and all the work we put on our channel, we were laughing again last night about that. Then we go to our personal channel. It has two videos <laughs> that we've never taken care of, and yeah. our wedding video has over 27,000 views. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah. Really, like I, I, everyone's going from your channel they're like oh they're so sweet let's go see their wedding yeah <laughs> this was before we even started pushing youtube this thing just got a mind of yeah, its own yeah. so if anybody yeah. else to yeah. the youtube just leave yeah. your video don't alone don't care about it don't no tags it. nothing just have put horrible, it sound. <laughs> horrible sound really does well We're forget learning. about yeah. it just, just leave it it's gonna be good <laughs> but it does have three major words into it it has viking iceland and wedding in the title yeah. That's the ah, reason. Violet is now Googling Viking icing or uh, Viking uh, Iceland and wedding. Viking wedding, yeah. Because yeah. that's it just really funny. Again, even if you don't have tags in, if you have really good words in your title, they will. And that's what definitely made it. Well, like my one video that is actually kind of interesting in terms of views, I have one video at almost 14,000. Really? And it's um we were viewing the first generation of a stroller and the newest version of a stroller right yeah. and it's really like 
I, I taped it and the audio wasn't good because I didn't have a proper mic that I was using. So then I recorded audio over afterwards and I probably just did it once and I slapped it together. And it's super embarrassing to watch now that I put a little bit more time into my stuff. But I'm like, people in Europe are clicking on this thing. <laughs> What and that's where all the views are coming from. It's so weird because you look at the demographics. When I started the um, April thing, I was like, oh, boy. Because I think my demographics were 99.9% .9 female. <laughs> I think it's a little more balanced now, but I was like, okay. I was going to ask so, you, can you please send some women our way because we need some. And we lost them during the live stream. That's the weirdest part, the talking part, which I thought would bring in women like yeah. crazy. We actually lost women and gained more men. Yeah. I was still trying to figure out how that all kind of came yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of uh, according to the the uh, YouTube, uh, you know, average. Uh, 70 30, which is the average. Yeah, which yeah. is the average for YouTube. But now it's majority is men. And it's just as Andrew said, just because we just started <laughs> live streams. I don't know why. It was the weirdest <laughs> thing I've ever seen, like, because it all goes against the books so of what should have happened. But, but you know, men are really, really good. Um, supporters too right like if they're going to take the time to watch your streams they're probably going to tell their bros about it too right yeah whereas i mean i i guess i'm obviously a woman so i just you get what you get and you really appreciate it but um it, it's interesting because i feel like that if you have the men's attention that is a very very good thing mm. i don't know um but you know it's actually funny you say that because that's kind of the live streams with the men are very appealing and i think it's actually the pitch of a male voice talking because when i was doing my trivia it's like dislikes dislikes and then as soon as phil showed up who has a very low voice it, a lot more likes and people were sticking around so i think it's just probably hard to listen to just a female talk for a long time and i don't want to be condescending it's just oh, yeah. I, I have a higher pitched voice right whereas when when phil's talking it's like everyone's like oh Right. I'm sure you get that, too. And it's because you probably have a you, you do have a very pleasant speaking voice. Both of you do. And you're doing it as a team. So it's a bit more balanced. Right. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't see my brother, for example, wanting to listen to me talk for two hours straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Like, it's yeah, just... no, I, I agree. And uh, it definitely. And it also it, it shows in the studies that uh, a man's voice uh, is more trusted, like even for women. Uh, funny, like even women's hygiene products, if they are voiced over with a uh, man's voice, <laughs> women are tending to buy yeah. those more than the ones that are voiced over with women's voice. Although, you know, like men don't use them, but it's just funny how it works. And, and that's exactly how you just described. So that's for sure uh, could be the part of it as well. Yeah. My, my, my favorite component of my zoo, video, zoo videos is when I have my husband with me and I ask him a question because he always has it answered. It's always about like a minute to two minutes long and he's always very confident, right? So if I actually record him talking and then I fact check him afterwards, it's, it's very, very funny because... <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, as soon as he starts talking, everybody in the room just stops and they listen because it's just how men can speak, it's like, oh, okay, well, if he's saying that, I mean, mm -hmm. he, he really seems to know a lot about African elephants. It's like, if I'm talking, it's like, what's going on? No, I, I think it's, um, we should all see our particular skills as blessings and we should use them to the fullest extent. So I'm like, if I need to do a video with my husband talking about Bitcoin, it'll be up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole series of you fact checking with your husband. I, fact checking my husband. Actually, I'm very looking forward to that. That I am so looking forward to. Just it's like so catchy too. <laughs> is, I, I call it Phil facts, right? <laughs> But on the other hand, too, for chats, women have it easier because you can talk about anything. And even if it's something like they get into talking about cars, even if you say, well, I like the red ones, they're going to find it all cute. But if I don't jump into it with something actually factual, they're going to nail me to it like a, you know. That's I, so I, true. I, they are. I can imagine you'd be like, you know? I like it because it's the red one. I don't think you could do that. <laughs> It's true. It's like, it is. I, I, I love drones. Look how look how cute my drone is. That's I put right. stickers on it. It's <laughs> it's really like good. Like, you can put in drone knee and they'll find it even nicer. <laughs> look at my 
cute. It is. Isn't it cute? There is. There's <laughs> blessings and curses on each side. Is all I'm saying. You know, <laughs> we're talking about the uh, yoga ball. Even if I sat on one here, do you think I would sit here in a live stream and say I sat on a yoga ball? Never. I would deny if I even knew what they were. What is a yoga ball? What is this thing? You're talking about? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. No, yeah, it, it, it's funny. But it, it, I'm not saying you should abuse your power, but you should definitely take advantage of the things you have going for you. Of course. Yes. Yes. 100%. <laughs> Embrace it, so to say. It's another well, table and i mean you got to maximize everything you have and that is a that's a very good point in that so i i, I will be honest i got kicked off of a live stream yesterday for the first time <laughs> why um because i i actually um had the sound very quiet and i wasn't sure what they were talking about but they looked like nice people and i just joined their channel and like hey guys you know if i reach my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the month i win a bet with my husband can anyone help i'd love to check out some channels and then he said who is this violet bird what are you doing here you can't come into my channel and ask for subscribers oh. Delete. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, all right, going back to my I am a creator ethics uh, starting again. <laughs> you have yeah, to be I, careful. Sometimes it's uh there there are people that are less accommodating, <laughs> but it was so funny because then I went because he was um trying to get some money, right? So he was on okay. PayPal and he was asking people for money and that's why he got so mad. So I, I sent him like a couple dollars. I said, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to be such a jerk. I was oh, just, no. you know. <laughs> oh, no. uh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was too bad though but outside the community i think uh, you know uh oftentimes as it was before it all happened uh it was considered a spam and i think the people that uh, ha are not familiar with it um still s feel like that so but there are some still in the community i mean it goes on different levels too and i mean that's a real big problem with the mods that's why we're all mods here yeah, and yeah if something like one does we're going to stop one who was like uh, can you sub me? Can you sub me? Can you sub me? But it's not to kick out first. Can you please? You know, we don't do this in this channel, you know, and just get to know everybody. And... Yeah. Like a warning is nice, but it yeah. was really funny because I mean, I, I, I'm pretty shameless when it comes to asking, right? And right. that probably has helped me, right? Like I'll go on to any stream if someone's doing it. I'm like, hey, looks like you got something interesting going on here. Uh, I like your content. Um, and, you know, I, I find you uh, catch a lot more flies with honey then with vinegar it's better to see what other people are doing and then maybe they'll be interested in you and i i got a very good reminder of that yesterday well, it, it was so funny though because then he kicked out three other people right after me well that's, that's, I, yeah. <laughs> that's the whole reason why we make everybody mods here if they've been here a couple of times mm -hmm. and that's our model the blue wrench thing is because we don't want to create a hierarchy and that's what i've seen this happen since the, the late 90s in mm -hmm. chat rooms of all types the blue mods, the blues become almost like, I, I used to use the joke, I call them all ladies in waiting. And they all fall around doing their wishes and all trying to show who's a better one to throw people out than the other. And it's a power trip. And they're like, it's so, it gets so ridiculous that people forget, you know, what they're, they, they, how ridiculous they look doing it. Exactly. You know, we don't need, this isn't a police state. We don't need to be watching no. for to say a word that we don't like. Most you know, of us are adults here, and yeah. I mean, you know, all of the blue wrenches in our channel, each of them could uh, post, uh, you know, their links all all evening long here because they have ability to do that now with a yeah. blue wrench. But really, we haven't Love had it. it happening, and they actually ask. I don't know yeah. why, even although I have encouraged them to do it, uh, because everybody mostly are here adults. It's ridiculous to have power trips. Uh, That's you know, I'll be right back. Sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not clumsy. <laughs> you okay? Where did she go? I don't know if she fell down again. I think. Uh, Sorry. No, I was I was turning on a warmer light because I've got some white lights on me and I'm the sun's pretty much down oh now. God. Did so. you see what we were talking about a while ago? If a guy did that, they'd say, "What an idiot!" He <laughs> There's one of those so, Don't right? adjust the lights. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Look at the situation up to that you have fun. They're like, oh, it's like, oh shoot, I'm all, all tangled up. Nice <laughs> if I did it, they'd say, what a jackass. He shouldn't even be on this thing. <laughs> Thank you it's not fair. 
And yes, this is a male voice telling you, so we know it's funny. <laughs> Oh boy. But you know, you kind of have to love the double standards and appreciate them because yeah. if you get mad, then you're just going to have a terrible life. I, I right? just was so stereotypical <laughs> what I was talking about. I loved it. And it was funny. It was great. It actually was <laughs> great, great viewing. But it's true. If I did it, they'd be like, what? oh my God, what an idiot. Ah, I could do it way better than him. Yeah. But her, they'll say, Look at her doll. She was so cute yeah. about it, you know. She was with the little button, and everything will be a little like as if everything's in a box that size. You now we we'll talk about it. <laughs> Panic D uh, just laughed in response to what I just said, and uh, <laughs> said that you can come over to their live stream on Saturday at five Eastern. Uh, they're going to be more than welcome for you to come and ask for stuff. Thank <laughs> you, Panic Videos. I really want to win my bet. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, <laughs> oh, that was so funny. originally the bet was um, if because uh, my husband wanted to lose ten pounds and I wanted to get hundred subscribers, we thought it was kind of like the same thing. And I'm like, okay, so if I get my thousand subscribers, then I want a parrot. And and oh, then he's like, okay, well, if I lose ten pounds, then I want to get like this attachment for my gold sluice. And they're like, okay. And then we thought about it. I'm like, hold on, we don't actually have any money for that. So uh, <laughs> how about if I win the bet, you can clean the bathrooms for a month? And he's like, sure. But if I win the bet, then you actually have to make interesting dinners for a month. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this means I don't want to win because I don't want to make interesting dinners. <laughs> it's too much work. <laughs> wow, you are, you know, you are just a little bit less than 100 away. So I'm looking forward to who is going to be doing what next month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta find out. It's like, yeah. so who on the bet, Violet? <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm pretty persistent. So unless I break the YouTubes, then uh, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I win. We'll see. <laughs> But yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, you've been awesome. So you, much. you and Xenia are a lot alike. I keep watching the way you talk and the way you jump it. You have this thing where you go from like, yes, I'm going to use it. You'll nail me again. But it's goofy to like super intense in like two seconds. You'd be like, I was watching the camera and I'm going to turn it here for a second. I'm trying to do like you guys do. Okay, okay. You'd be like, excited. and then we went out and then we were trying to, and then we were talking. And, this is and now I'm talking to the camera. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> cut action. Cut action like that. It's well, you know how well, to do it. I think like, your head's gonna spin like poltergeist or something. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh my energy and then oh, calm. God. Energy and super intense and it's just up down like it's like, a, like this. If you were watching on a heart rate, yeah. <laughs> I'll be sitting here literally yeah. like I'm sitting right now. And she'll tell me two stories that are sober and quiet. And one of them, you think she was on a roller coaster at Disney. And the next one, probably crying. And then the next one, we were just back to sober again. I'm just like, yeah, it's a roller coaster. I'm still coaster sitting here like, I can't even tell one story from the other. I'm, I'm, I've gone limp. Just give me some of the thoughts when I'm coming back because I don't know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> and I've realized it's just easier to get through it. It's a survival technique, folks. I have. Yeah, very creative. Just to smile and nod. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How do you feel today? When it went out, ask thoughtful <laughs> questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Double attack of that today. Yeah. And then when you oh do your gosh. serious thing to try and get at me, like I'll say, you know, like let's go. Yes, that face. It, <laughs> it's so over the top. It's like, oh my God. It's like so trying to be serious and eating six lemons at the same time. It's like we get it. We get it. You're going nuts and I'm going nuts. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I like that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Sorry. We'll wait till that I'm not comes too out good at you. pouting. I don't do that usually, so I can only play or pretend that I'm pouting. And your lip always shakes for trying not to laugh. Yeah, like, yeah, because I can't, I can't do that. I don't yeah. pout, so it just it comes well, That's out enough too about funny. us. Uh, the, by the way, there was a comment about that uh, if you win, then your husband is going to gain back his 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, no. Then I need to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're going to be making interesting dinners, yeah. then... Uh... Oh, right. This is a problem. 
<laughs> Maybe it's the way for you to get out of the that side of the bed, you know. <laughs> you know, the, the challenge is when someone's very sensitive to gluten. It's yeah. like, what do you make? Yeah. Oh, so I was, I've got I've got chicken and I have to cook it. And mm -hmm. I have to cook it with basic ingredients and I can't use anything that has anything interesting in it. So what do you do? Barbecue. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely more challenging when there are, uh, you know, uh, limitations in um, that for sure. I'm going to get your going. You guys are way too much alike. I don't know. I well, I was like going to or something what? like that. What? No, uh, don't touch me. I'm leaving. <laughs> He's fleeing. What did we do? Running oh. away. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I think I, I think he just needs needs one of you in the room. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said double trouble. He's not just can't take this. <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> oh my God! Uh, I I love uh, cooking and especially baking, and uh, mm -hmm. I thank God. So, so so far we don't have any like very extreme limitations to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I I can imagine it is hard to do the gluten free. Although there are a lot of things in the, in the grocery store, it's so expensive still. Um, so yeah, for sure. Well, we, we, we get lots of um, beef from my in-laws because they're uh, wheat farmers, but they also have some beef cows, so they do beef farming as well. Uh, but it's just, what can you do with ground beef that is gluten-free? It's like, no spaghetti and meatballs. You can make meatballs, but you serve it with spaghetti squash. So <laughs> my poor husband has, like, spaghetti squash and meatballs, and my kids are, like, so confused, right? Because... Noodles are like the best treat in our house. <laughs> Apparently, egg noodles are okay with uh, glu gluten-free people. That's true. Yeah, because we were just uh, we were at the event, uh, and the lady there was uh, uh, gluten intolerant. So we were mm -hmm. talking about the subject about how how she changes her eating habits, and uh, and yes, that's one of the things she was saying is about corn flour mm -hmm. and uh, like you know tacos, nachos, and things like that. Uh, with meat, and then the other thing uh, which she was talking about was egg noodles. So just <laughs> well, and, and you know the the problem is too is this you you go to the trouble and you make the the dinner completely within the dietary requirements, and then like three hours later, <laughs> it's like why are you eating potato chips? Ah, yeah, no, for sure. But for sure. it's just it's it's balance. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm a terrible cook. Like what I say to my husband is, is like, you're the chef, right? So when you want to make a really nice meal, you make beautiful food. It's very interesting and delicious. Um, I'm like a very skillful line cook. I can cook the same thing perfectly every time, but it's not that interesting. Like I rotate between maybe four different things that I make. If I get really crazy, I make breakfast for dinner. <laughs> that's that's a good thing. <laughs> Mine are that. flying away every time I make them. <laughs> no, Kathy, Kathy says my husband and sons uh, have celiac disease, and I have to make them gluten free here. Oh, there you go. You can exchange recipes. And Miss mm -hmm. Kathy, I thought you are in a bed, or are you shaking the bed in the bedroom? Now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little personal. <laughs> Panic two videos, yeah. It's not it's not extreme, but it is it is a sensitivity for sure. Uh, and it's it's weird with the gluten because for some people it's really, really, really bad. Some people it's just a little bad and some people have sensitivity. My husband's probably in the middle, but both uh, two of his grandparents are quite bad. So you think if you start taking care of it earlier, maybe it won't progress as bad. I think. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, lately a lot of people like yeah. look. I see uh, panic D videos also are are uh, gluten uh, sensitive. So uh, there's a lot of people that are uh, in in that. And yes, right happy now. Canadian breakfast for dinner is amazing. Yes, I it can't. is. <laughs> it's one of the greatest gifts that God has put on this earth. We're very appreciative. I love I love 
them dinner breakfast. Yeah, I think Andrew yeah. wouldn't mind some con consistency in in uh, his uh, dinner plate because especially baking, baking. I I like uh, to try out things. So and uh, and I yeah. my problem is that I can't make the same thing the exact same as before because I don't follow the recipe. I want to add something, and Andrew says that my bake stuff is like. Uh, <laughs> It just goes away. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> 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 My was with my letter very excited. <laughs> Did you guys see when I tried to cook eggs for them the one night and I thought I boiled them, but none oh of them were boiled god. and we broke <laughs> raw eggs on my live stream. <laughs> oh. All I see was half a blur and we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> the six-year-old knocked me over. That wasn't my fault. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> but you know, this is so uh, presenting of Violet's videos in general. Yeah, they yeah. are funny and serious at yeah, the same exactly, time. Exactly. Uh, exactly how our stream has been like. Oh my god! That was your so back Odisa's live stream excitement? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you know, we do replays. That yeah. was amazing. <laughs> God, you're just gone like the wind. I swear to God, you're loud. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh Miss Kathy, you gotta go back and look at it after she. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You want to see a disappearing act? <laughs> minute, minute before this minute. Uh, Got Our yeah. lovely assistant Violet here, <laughs> where she just left the frame within a second. Yeah. With a swoosh and a yell. A, a six-year-old attack. <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the loves, with the hugs. Oh my no, God. No, Noelle's awesome. She's, <laughs> she's funny. She loves live streams. Oh my gosh. I and mean, if she let her have a channel, she would kill. Whew. Oh, <laughs> kind of D videos. Mom is live streaming. Dot dot dot. Let's sneak up on her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <on> yoga ball. <laughs> oh. Oh, but you know, to, at the end, the the way I got her to do the five minutes of piano after ha the half hour of not practicing when I was sitting down with her, so I said, okay, I will start recording you right now and show all your friends and put it on YouTube. And it's just uh, like. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> New threats, right? Exactly. It works. Whatever works is <laughs> good. Can't bribe her with food, but I can. <laughs> I know you want to move on with it, but if we ever have the greatest of our channel, my God, you're top of the list right now. That's. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. This is one of the, the when Andrew dying from laughs. This is one of those occasions. What's the going on here? <laughs> that will be the end of the video. I tell you, it's amazing. Oh boy. Oh my god, oh my god, that was so good. I can't thank you enough for tonight. Please thank your daughter for giving us. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, I'll make sure I let her know. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Did they, did they lose it? Oh, she's coming back. She yeah, heard her interviewing my friend. Oh, dear. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> this is going to encourage her to more. <laughs> she got that look in her eyes. They're like, yeah. looking at her in a second. <laughs> I'm holding on to the desk. <laughs> That's Stop it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, okay. Noel, today I'm going to tell you what a troll is. <gasps> Where's the troll? You don't want to tell them? Okay. Oh, thank you. Where'd this come from? It's very good. My pretty. jewelry. Oh. You bribed with jewelry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, girl. Make it look pretty. Oh. Um, the next star later. <laughs> so my favorite thing that happened to me when I went to Disneyland with my husband was I was getting a picture at night in front of the castle and one of the cast members shone a light on our face. Oh. So you could actually see us. I'm like, wow, photography. That's a good trick. Yeah. 
That's really cool. Interesting. Well, because like you're, you're trying to get in front of the castle and the castle's lit and you're in front of it and it's dark so you can't see your face. So he was walking around, the cast member, the person working there, um, shone the light on our faces. So then in the picture, you can actually see our faces because everyone's walking around with their phones and not all the time operating the flashes or it's just not as pretty when right. you do that. So I don't know. It was kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good tip. <laughs> um my photography knowledge is limited. <laughs> no, that's a, that is a good uh, well, well, I think we'll have to let you go um, uh, to your uh, kids <laughs> that we have taken away. And I think that's why uh, your, kids, trying, your kids are amazing. They're trying to, yeah. She's trying to get your attention. My God, that was yeah. so funny. Oh, uh, I think we're going to keep coming back to that moment in the last oh, year. Yeah. <laughs> To be like the Susie finally like a competition for the video yes, gets played the most. Use oh it for our intro or something. Kathy, like you gotta check it out. If uh, uh, yes, you missed the exact uh, second, uh, you're gonna come and back. Uh, so thank it's you. It's such a pleasure having you. Yes, it was, it was so amazing to have you. As I was yeah. saying, the serious and quirky and funny all at the same time. Uh, you beautifully represent all that, uh, and you know, tied up with your face, very gently presented as well. And thank uh, you for your time. I mean, beautiful. we know it's precious. Uh, you have all the kids and everything else, so yes. we really do appreciate you giving us the time to talk to you. Well, it's uh, it's wonderful to get to build community with such positive people and talented creators. Honestly, um, it, it it's an honor to be on such a well put together channel and stream i know you guys are saying oh no no but you guys you have a beautiful channel you do really really beautiful work and the 42 hours you put into editing your video mm -hmm. i mean it looks so beautiful and effortless like breathing right but that's because wow. you do it so well so Tell thank us. you for having me as with you you have an amazing talent amazing voice really enjoy what you're doing and don't be so hard on yourself with your editing your editing is good you really capture your talent so <laughs> thank you yes <laughs> you 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 really are something. You're really great to have on. You've been an amazing guest. Thank you mm. so much. Thank you for the invite. Take yeah, care, have guys. Have a good <laughs> night. Bye. 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 Oh, she was really good. Yeah. Oh my God. And a great exit uh, yeah. with the uh, with the uh, ball caps. You missed the funny, uh, the yeah. funny, <laughs> the funny oh exit, God, the funny roll. Funny. That was so funny. She was so nice. I like oh, she yes. So... Uh, she's very, uh, sounds like a very gentle soul mm -hmm. and uh, very well put together human being. Yeah, uh, very well rounded. I, that's some, somebody I would like to get to oh. know in, in real life as well, you know, like yep. uh, that you see and feel that it's something more behind uh, that. So, for sure, uh, thank you. It was very amazing to yep. have you on. But and who knows, maybe we'll meet in real life. We are in one country. <laughs> I still, that video she did singing in the car, that's so amazing. Yes, like, I, know, I know. That's... Like, there's a great sound. She's talking about her editing. You see that video? Like, the line that up so well in that? Mm -hmm. Like, the uh, total props for doing that one. Just forget even the, everything else that she's done. Just that one video alone was like, yeah, exactly. blown me away. Like, I th uh, that's why I asked, because I thought there was some kind of education in the editing background of some kind. After I was watching the videos, I got the impression of that. So yeah, I was just laughing at a Polynesian vlogger here. Oh uh, yeah, uh, you have to come back to the beginning of the stream where for almost the whole hour it's only me because Andrew was late, mm -hmm. and I started the live stream on my own, and I was here talking and not stopping and talking <laughs> and talking and more talking, and we talked about celebrity crushes. So after it uploads, you got to come back and watch it. You mentioned Bruce Willis? Of course. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're my Bruce Willis. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! No. Uh, this is the thanks I get. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is when we have a, a, a touching moment. This is how it works. So we end up spilling your hair. Um, oh. Thank you so much for hanging out with no. us. Um, you guys are so good. It's such a pleasure hanging around with you. Sorry I was late tonight, but like I said, you're in good hands, so you guys all seem to be doing Thank well. You. And uh, life first, uh, the car has to be dealt with, yeah. work has to be dealt with, so sometimes uh, it's okay. 
Oh, we love um, you too. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, an amazing channel. Yeah, and tomorrow we're uh, back again at 8 p.m. And on Friday, we are going to have Mr. Hosier on. Where's my calendar? Yep. Yeah. Um, Mr. Hosier on on Friday. And uh, on Saturday, as I was talking before, uh, I'm going to have uh, a special edition, again, just me, but yep. together with two beautiful ladies, uh, as I always say, uh, one Instagram maven, the other one queen of Twitter. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be talking uh, and raising awareness about uh, invisible diseases, uh, chronic illnesses, and chronic pain uh, with uh, support from uh, uh, different uh, associations of fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, um, invisible illnesses, uh, and uh, even some uh, doctors and yeah. uh, professional psychologists <laughs> and uh, yeah we're going to be talking about that interchanging the experience talking with chat uh, and maybe try and put some uh, fun ending spin to that as well yeah. and talk about myths and things like that so that's on saturday um and yeah and then next week we have full planned with Artem Artificat, Sharila Paraguay, Geek Paranormals, and our friends from New Zealand, this natural journey, as well as Chamblay panel. So that's all for next week. Yep. We're going to have Stick lots around. of great guests, guys. Right. We've already had lots of great guests, and it continues. It's unbelievable, the channels that are on. Yeah. You know. uh, so stick around, and uh, if you ever don't get the notification, because uh, YouTube sometimes uh, doesn't do that, or you don't see Twitter, you don't have time checking it, we're here every night at 8 p.m. Eastern, except for Sundays, when we release our newest video, which yeah. this time is going to be the fourth video of Living Photo Series. If I can get it done, <laughs> this week might be... English crap. Yeah, this week might be a little hard. I'm hoping uh, maybe tomorrow morning I can get at that. Because, uh, yeah. Life first. Yeah, life first. Because <laughs> yes. life first, life. but we'll yeah. hope. Uh, so thank you so much, and uh, stick around tomorrow. <laughs> You're running, I don't know, so you, I'm just listening. I gotta go take care of life first here. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, and, cheers and keep creating, guys. Thank See you for you. coming. Bye.